I was expecting a cop car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Undercover cop. Undercover cop. Yeah. So my cop car is sick though. Oh my god. It's so smooth. It's like you just see, I think there's like bearings on the side. Because I go to like turn this way and like, and I was like, no. And I'm so like, that house is pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty good. It's better on the inside because we have the crystal chandeliers. And then we have all the food, like my mom and dad eat the no-name stuff and I eat like President's Choice and like the brand name stuff. Like there's like no-name Mr. Noodles and then there's like Mr. Noodles, Mr. Noodles. <laughs> I don't know, the no sometimes the no-name I can do, but some products that I just can't. And I understand it's the same ingredients, but I mean, if you paint a turd, Gold? It's still a turd. It's, you know, you can put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. It's still like, oh. More expensive pig, but. <laughs> Damn straight. Paris Hilton said if you're gonna put lipstick on a pig, make sure it matches its skin tone. And I'm just like, great advice, girlfriend. Way to go, Paris. I never use it though. When, oh man, when Brie serves, she always just put on lipstick. My only negative is she looks too scandalous, man. I'm like, Brie, you look good. Like, if you weren't married, Brie, you know, it looks too good. Brie, Brie, Brie. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Waldorf was like, um, you know, is this, uh, is this Muppets Movie 3D? And then, uh, Stan, Stan, uh, Statler. Statler is like, no, the Muppets are still one dimensional like they always are. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they're always yeah. like, was that terrible? They were all terrible. They were, all, they were all terrible. Like, yeah. and Jack Black said, like, uh, you know, I'm stuck with a bunch of weirdos. And then uh, Waldorf's like, that's why I felt like for the last 40 years. <laughs> I'm just like, why are they talking to Jack Black? Like, that was hilarious. All my friends really wanted me to like play Brutal Legend for them. And like, I beat it for the Xbox, right? And everyone's like, oh my God, I want to see some, you know, action of it. And I'm like, I already sold it though. And then I got it for the PS3 and everyone's like, oh my God, I want to see that game. And then I'm like, I beat it, got like 38% of the trophies and I already sold it again. It's like, you're too slow. You're too, I'm, I was like, Sonic, you're too slow. I don't know if you ever heard of YouTube Poop. It's where they collaborate videos together. Have you heard of it? YouTube Poop. I think I may have. So, like, for example, like, they use a lot of Mario clips and Sonic clips and video game clips. And um, usually it's the CDI, which is like an epic failure. I think Philips made it, right? Like, a, it's a TV company. So when a TV company doesn't have that much of a broad knowledge base, and then they try to make a video game console, it just completely fails. So it played off of discs. So, you know, so like in this other game, they would go like, squad a lot, we're off. Like that's the wizard in that. And, you know, Ganon's like, you must die. Like the voice acting is terrible. Everything is just bad. So they use a lot of those clips because like it's so mediocre. It's hilarious. Like, um, so yeah, one of the examples of YouTube poop is like Sonic's like, you know, um, the original ad I think is like, if you, if you are being touched by someone you don't like, and it's in a bad spot, it's no good. But then the YouTube poop edition is, if you're being touched by someone you like, and you don't like it, then it's good. Like they just take a bunch of like things that people say and like rematch it up. Like, it's hilarious. YouTube poops. YouTube poop. So now I'm on round three of my velvet cake. My oh, velvet cake. oh my God, DDA. Reamed. Reamed. Mackenzie today. Oh my god, I was about to bring that up. Too. Oh yeah. Like what, 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 was, what was said? Like I wasn't there the whole time. Okay, well, what's going on is that DJ watched. He's like, okay, he sees all the dishes coming, right? Mm -hmm. And I think Mackenzie may have brought one cart, and yep. he just threw it, whatever, left it there, and as usual, we're thing. like, fuck. So we just, okay, whatever, wham, 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 we're gonna do the dishes, it's fine. So then DJ gets pretty upset. He's like, okay. And Mackenzie was walking around, getting ready to do his cakes. Yeah, exactly. 
So DJ, he said something to DJ, and DJ said, hey, why don't you do some work? And he's like, I'm getting ready. He's like, no, you're not. Why don't you go do do something for one one time? Do something. Go help. Share some of the load. What's wrong with you? And and uh, Kenji's like, what are you talking about? I have an exam tomorrow for 25% of the ride. He's like, I don't care what you have. Get your ass in there. And he's like, get in there. And Kenji started talking back. He's like, shut your face. Get the hell there, you do something. Do something. So anyway, Mackenzie's trying to kick everyone on the dish and he's like, Hey, you're DJ? I'm like, Nope, and I am. He's like, You gotta do your visa on plus. I'm like, No, we don't. He's like, Yeah, yeah, I'm like, it's past today. You can't do visa on plus for past time. Anyway, so Mackenzie's bitching and standing there. And yeah, DJ yeah, comes yeah, back, he's like, What do you do? And he goes, I told you, replace somebody. What are you doing? He's like, You want to be in this industry? Move your fucking ass. I agree with everything that he said. So, he's like, you just sit here and give, give, give. And then I went, and uh, Evan's like, how are you? I'm like, oh, Dave's getting colorful. And I told him, and he's laughing. He's like, yeah, DDS. I said, I know he bombards you, and I know he takes it out on everybody else, which isn't good. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, I know. He's like, he has some kind of point, but he's like, I got to talk to him. I said, oh, I'm pretty sure he wants to talk to you. Like, he said, who you wanted know, to talk to you? Uh, DJ wanted to talk to him. Oh, oh, definitely, yeah. And I'm like, you know what, Evan? It stems from us fucking each other over by I'm in the bakery. I don't have to help you during lunch hour. Ha! Yeah. And we never corrected it. Yeah, exactly. And so now eh, it's just a whole kerfuffle. I'm like, why are we fucking each other over? I'm like, you guys are gonna get fucked over so badly once you get out there. You may want to chill out on that. And really enjoy the fact that you can get help here, because I'm telling you, mm-hmm. when you're out there, you ain't gonna help. get any help. You have to bake a cake, you know, for not a final exam, but for your life, for your, you know, for your kids and for your family. Well, I don't think he's gonna, you know, he says he wants to pay his mother back for everything that she's done, but you know, I don't even know what she did for him clearly, because you know, I can tell Mama's boy from not like, and someone with good morals and stuff. But I'm pretty. Sure, last time I checked. If you're trying to have a hookup with somebody, like, for that long, and you do that much, like, I don't know, you know, where the moral's gone. I think, I think the moral's I gone. I think Mackenzie's morals are pretty loose. I think they're loose at the moment, yeah, and they they're need not, to be they're tightened. Not snug. They're no, not. they're not. But I mean, I keep laughing with Evan. I'm like, you know, with your Chef Evan, I'm like, yeah. you know, he's gonna get his fucking asshole torn. He's gonna get he tore open. He's like, oh, I know. He's like, I'm gonna love it. Because I'm gonna find out where he's going. And I'm gonna keep tabs. As soon as he gets shattered, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be there. Yeah, me too. And I'm like, e, like Mackenzie, because every time he asks for help or anything, he's like, blah, 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 blah. Cause, you know, yeah, no, Mackenzie asks for help and then he like bitches at you. Like it's so awkward to me. Like, you know, today was the first day Mackenzie was actually nice to me for weeks. So I can't say much about him today, but over the past few weeks, definitely. There's been a huge change in behavior, and now tomorrow, he gets tomorrow the snap of people for him, you know, just yesterday. And even today, she was just like, get your cake, you decide what you wanted. Because do you think I should have strawberries and cherries, you know, just as a suggestion, you know, feedback. But no, she snapped on me. Like, she was snapping at Mark because he's like, oh, you do a half ass job. And like, if you say you want to learn skills now, it's been seven months. Like, how dare you fucking want to be in this industry and say you want to improve your skills now, finally. I'm like, what? You know, what the heck? Like, this, she has it twisted. You know, now he's, I'm, I think like he's getting her to attack people now because wow. she's not so, you know, I thought she was a good person, but I don't know. It's like, um, again, and she doesn't answer my Facebook message and she, you know, I don't have her texting number. Like, I don't know Tamara from a hole in the ground, but here's no. Tamara always saying, oh, well, I get this free. My rent's free. This is free. Mm-hmm. Hope I can get back next year so they can continue paying my rent because, oh my God, that'd be terrible. Then she got in. I was like, you fucker. I, I don't get it. I was like, why do you do that? There's all these people here that want to be here. I'm di- I'd am be, I'd die if I get into free, you know? <sighs> oh my God, it would be the biggest help in the world, but guess what? <clears throat> it doesn't happen. You get free. No, you don't. See? It just said it's... I cut the tree, you see? Oh, there we go. I still have the Christmas lights on. It's just, you know, it's a swift it's a swift kick up your butt and my butt because, you know, there are people here that think with their penises and vaginas and then there's people that are like wanting to make a fortune with a friend, right? And it's just like, I don't, oh my God, I don't get it. Like, 
I turned into some, I turned into some awful petty person because of the stupidity of others. You know, this is not my culture. This is not who I am. But like, I turned into this uh, honest monster. However, the way I behaved yesterday, I don't regret. That was me to a T. I was just like, oh what? no, I need to call people out bullshit because yeah. I love it. Oh. Yeah, I put a bucket in her way and she's just in front of her. Oh. I, and I told Lindsay, I told Lindsay about my behavior and he thought it was like, he just wished he was here. He oh. wished he was there yesterday, like, to hear it all. Because, you know, I just ripped it with him, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, I love it. I gotta get my wig on. I was thinking of like getting an afro. <laughs> my wig. My wig. I'll give um, you a little tour. When when I dressed up as a king at Halloween, everyone's like, I like your costume. I'm like, oh, I'm not dressed up. This is this is, this is bad. Cause this is not like done. So this is oh, okay. See, it's just like oh. Used to be my audience. Oh my god, look at that! It's all like pristine, you know? <laughs> <laughs> This is really the yoga space. You're an educated man. Not playroom. My vacation oh, toys this year. Oh, where's that sofa that you got? Where? Oh, it's upstairs. And this oh, is okay. my vacation toys. Oh, I think my brother has a set being uh I think you can get the whole drum set, right? Well, no, the, the drums are... Oh. This, yeah, no, this is like a sick place, you know? If you want to get away from, uh, you yeah, know, come down. Miss Lovely, you know, you usually, usually people have problems in their relationship. I know I do. How are you better off? This is going to be the TV room, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool how it's like a... Ooh, there you go. And then there's a piano there. Yeah, she's on there. Oh, Tim. Dude, oh my god. You wouldn't believe that I have this thing in my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I might sell it to the house. Yeah, same thing. Right here. Because like I love babies, you know. 
like everybody in my class is like, stop talking about babies. But it's just like I just had a And then I was like, I'm going to baby and he was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> babies are cool. There was like there was no awkward for my baby talking. Everybody's just like, you know, there was a baby in the cafeteria before and I was just like like the whole time it was crazy. I don't know what happens in the is I get possessed by the baby demon. <laughs> and then the end of the tour is no. This one had a toilet in Shamil. My my upstairs bathroom, that's like my bathroom, I call it the throne room. I don't call it. This is the cat room. Oh, it's kind of like baby. There's, I got a. Uh oh. There's a baby crab? Yeah. There's a messy art room. There's a baby room. Baby's room, it's almost done. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I know, this is going to be like the favorite. Yeah, this has. This me as a kid. Check that out. Oh, my God. But this is. I'm going to take a picture of the first day. That's all I got. Yeah, this one. This room is like a. This room is like a work in progress. Like, oh my yeah. god. But I want to get the pictures up for her parents. Wait, who painted these uh, pictures? A Oh my god. You're going to have a little art curve going on here. Uh, <laughs> super. But it was cool. I, I just love the fact that you have a giraffe. I'm like, oh my god, look at this thing. Can you get people? Can you get people? And the cat doesn't She'll cripple herself in the crib. She'll jump in the thing. And the cat will probably fall in the right off the door. How is the cat feel with her? Great drink. Got some, get some great juice. drink. Do you have some like KFC juice? KFC gravy. KFC gravy. I don't mind their gravy. I think my initial reaction was like, when he said like I'm having a baby with my girl, I'm like, a real live baby. <laughs> I got some. I got some fruit fusion. Fruit fusion. Strawberry and uh, mango. And there's powdered there's almond milk, there's whipping cream. Oh my god, whipping cream. <laughs> yeah. And there's orange juice and water. Oh my god, I should totally have five live with whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jew, the five alive. Oh Jew, the five alive. Maybe they can make it a five alive reduction. Do you have to go out in your course? Oh god, that's all we do. No, but is he, he's not in your course, though. He's in the advanced. Is he in the advanced course? Um, to be honest with you, no. Like, we're stuck doing a lot of functions, especially for the middle schoolers, which is a shame just because I really, really, like, I'm beyond ambition. If I could learn something new every day, like an elaborate recipe, I would, if I could. But unfortunately, like, it's a lot to do with functions and, like, repetitive things, so it's, it's sad, like, because I'm such, you know, I'm like a bamboo tree, you know? I grow three feet every 24 hours, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm being stifled by, like, these, you know, mundane tasks. Like, mm-hmm. I understand that the industry is going to be, like, extremely repetitive, but, I mean, you know, like, that's the industry, you know? That's fine. But when I'm going to school, I want to learn all this crazy stuff. I want to learn avant-garde food. I want to learn malls et place, like... We did a few a la carte, so and that was definitely the highlight. But no, I personally I don't do a lot of cooking in the class. Like they usually put me on veggie prep and desserts. So when I get into this course, I'm confident I can be like a good dessert decorator. So, so. That's a good skill. And I have ice cream coffee and Canadian maple flavored coffee and teas, teas, herbal teas and regular teas and that's, that's wine. Wine. I have. Single malt scotch. Oh my god, what do you have for wine? <laughs> oh, the, the big red, the red house. Well, I mean, the four. 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 Four.
Easter. Yeah, save that one for Easter. Mm-hmm. For dinner with my family. They want 20% off. Awesome. You want to try some? Mm-hmm. Yeah, try some right now. Yeah, save the four skins. Because remember, I'm 17, I can't talk in that manner. <laughs> for, so this was like a you know. Know. But then it has a block of. <laughs> Spoken now that you have your true wine knowledge from yesterday. They didn't, I knew more than the girl giving the tour. She didn't know anything. Yeah, me, Jason, and two other classmates were in the shop the whole time where we belong because I was there to try the wine. The lady even said, like, I don't know what you guys have set up, but I can't let, like, 15 people try wines. But I can let you four try wines. Okay. Wow, yeah. you guys were the two yeah, of really. Thank you. We're, yeah, we're, well, no, it's because I wanted to get a shirt, but I don't like being alone. I'm like, Jason, don't leave me. Like, I'm picking up a shirt. Like, and then, like, he had an excuse to stay there because if anyone yelled at him, they're like, well, Sam is trying to get a shirt. He doesn't want to, you know, be alone with, you know, this awful wine lady, even though she's perfectly nice, and just like, oh. And then Bree. And then well, Bree. where did everybody go? I'm and like, Bree is the building you go around. Bree's like my mom, right? But, like, a bit, a bit nice and, like, less strict. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. So, um, you know, she's just like, oh, Sam, I'll stay with you, too. And then, uh, another girl, Riley, in his class, who, like, he is a big fan of me. She stayed, too, for more of the West I like, three words. Like, Thank so you God. Your wine posse. And we got to try, I think, like, just the four skins. Yeah, yeah the four skins, and I tried their premium port, which is really good. Cool. And then we tried some, in my opinion, and looked it. some generic um, white wine. But I was more fixated on the Grigio, because the Grigio, I talk about, like, every time, every time we talk about wine, I always bring up the Grigio, because I just love the Grigio. Like, if I remember, if I'm ever sick in the hospital again, they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna IV Pinot Grigio. You know, it's not gonna have any vitamins in it or any minerals. It's just gonna be Pinot Grigio. I know, still in the oven. I know. I think you're the only cook here because like you're creating something amazing. It's like <laughs> it's too crazy. Wow, Maybe. this is like very little taste. It's like. Water. Actually, you know what? I like the fact that it has very little taste. Not every wine has to like kill your throat and mouth, right? So. Hey, you get drunk off your ass, Magneto. Oh, sit on the party glasses. Mm. See, it's like that's nice. That's it's, a really nice wine. See, what I like about oh. it is that it's, you know, it's average, it's okay. I like the fact, for once, it's not over the top, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like, you know, I always want everything to be like, ooh, amazing stuff, but, you know, sometimes simple things are good, too, so. I could see myself, yeah, just drinking that. Hey, you know. And on the bus ride, we decided to do Statler and Walter. Statler and Walter. From the Muppets, the two grumpy men in the booth. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, like, uh, Mr. No- like, he was sitting behind, like, Mr. Noisy, and I was sitting behind Hormone Maker, and I was beside, like, um, uh, gonna get drunk for the day, man, and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm gonna, like, put my trust in the universe, and I'm gonna sit behind Mr. Noisy and sit beside Jason Green, that's what they call him, and I, I was like this, I was like, I think I said can, as in a can, I sit there. So, like, can is in a can of food, I sit there. And then he got it, I don't know how, and mm-hmm. then it's like, yes. And I was like, oh my god, I got friends. Like, and Mr. Noisy was like, so annoying. <laughs> Why did I call you Jason Green? No, I do, I do, because he was wearing a green shirt. Oh. So. At first it was Mr. Jason, but I didn't want him under my M contacts, because that was, like, way too far down. I had to, like, scroll way like, too far down. But, like, Jason, you know, Jason, instead of, like, Mr. Jason, you know, it was, like, shorter in the list, right? So, like, I didn't have to scroll down all the contacts. Like, it takes a while. So I was just like, okay, for laziness reasons. But yeah. Mr. Noisy's Mackenzie. Mr. Noisy. is trying to get into this girl's pants. And, like, they both attack everybody, and, like, they both hate everybody all of a sudden now. Like... I was his best friend, but now I don't even call him by his name anymore. I just call him Mr. Noisy, or Big Nose, or Botox Face, or Silicon Valley, or Toupee Man. And sometimes I call him uh, Hungover George Clooney. Hungover George Clooney is very good. That's a really good one. 
Why George Clooney? Because he looks like George Clooney, but like hungover. He's yeah. not a dead ringer for him, but he has similarities. Yeah. There's like enough to be like, I can see it. Yep. Just go for it. But he can't accept any help, can't it, even though he wants it, and he's like, I really want it. And today he gets shooed out by a chef for not doing anything. Yeah, it's because he's, like, distracted, you know? It's the first day in weeks, like, he's been nice to me. Like, I was, I was his best friend, but, you know, it was kind of like this. Like, if you, you know, we were like this, like, best friends, and then, you know, after a few, like, weeks ago, it just crashed. So, it's really, like, sad. He became introverted, and he's like... Is he graduating, or is he in the two-year program? Unfortunately, he's in the two-year. I wish he was part of the cook course, just because, like then he would have to deal with him instead of me. <laughs> but, I mean, you already have to deal with the other half hormone maker, so it's just like, that's bad enough, I'd say. Like, but I wind Mackenzie up, and sometimes Evan, the chef, will be like, would you fuck off? And I'm like, huh? You make fun of me all day? I'm like, but bam! Was the guy the TA there, and the guy who's like... No. Yeah. He had a bad weekend, and apparently yesterday was a bad day. Oh, I think we know. I think I know who we're talking about. Like, you know, I feel... You, know, you know what I feel like? I feel like I'm <coughs> learning more about people and psychology than learning about food. So that's why when Miss Lovely over there asked me, like, do we do a lot of cooking, it was hard for me to answer that question just because I feel like I'm doing damage control. Everyone in my class is, like, so sensitive. It's crazy. You but know? it's true. Like, this year, for some reason, is so bad and It's the that worst. People in my class like, well, we've done, like, you get good at something and they keep you doing the same thing over, over and over. I always made, well, I screwed it up once, the uh, chocolate mousse with the gelatin, the fruit gelatin, well, just the sponge cake, the layers there, that we serve every function. Oh, I know. I messed it up once because I put the gelatin in too late. Anyway, but for weeks, for a month and a half, I did them all the time. It all like desserts, the cake. And then when he was like, all oh, people are too slow, can you do this? Can you make the oranges? Can you do that at the same time? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And I don't know who they lean on on your side, but I get leaned on a lot. If DJ is always like, you need to do this, can you do can you do that? I do know my uh, eight classmates, though. So uh, then if Steve, I say the names. Like Steve, Andre seems to be very like... Andre and Matt, strong. Andre and Matt are the top two performers. They, dip, they, half, uh, 90% of the time, I don't have a task. They don't give me a task. They're kind of just like, go over there, you know? Just because they see me, and they think to my, they think to themselves, health husband, no experience, just put him on veggie prep, or just like, just push him away. I'm the personality of the class. I'm not like, you know, you know, I don't, I don't know what they're thinking, but it's like, weird. Like, and he's right though, and it's like, if people get that, there are some people on my side that somebody said, okay, we need to get a mise en place ready, and some guy, Mark, no called John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> Gacy. <laughs> anyway, he was like, what's mise en place? And I'm like, get the fuck out of here and go home. I'm like, yeah. you are dumb, Mark. You are dumb, did you say dumb, that? dumb. Yeah, I did. You must all think you're an asshole. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, you know, there's a lot of haters that hate on, like, you know, I, I call I call Jason the McKenzie of like their class. I don't yeah. mean that in a negative way, but like because I was a fan of McKenzie at the time, right? Like, but I just think that you know you're misunderstood and people just don't get it. But you know what I said to you, and I mean it. I, like, since you have a knack for cooking, you know that you have to be perfect, or else they're going to just give you flack the whole time. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, so hard on you to be good. Yeah, and they know it, right? So. Because he's like, you need to like DJ. They're like. Make me a velouté, and someone's like, oh, Jesus, it's going to take you a long time. I'm like, make a ruin, I need a velouté. And they're like, oh, jeez, will you have a recipe? I'm like, no. Like, well, what are you going to measure? I'm like, do you want a little bit? I'm like, take a little bit of butter here. Do, do, do. Get a little flour. Do, do, do. Like, did you measure that? I'm like, no, because when it looks like, hey, do, it's done. And I'm like, you don't, hey, do, it's done. And I'm like, you don't need to measure. <laughs> and I'm like, then you come over here, it's liquid. Do, do, do. And then DJ ruined it. He's like, you need more liquid. I'm like, it's going to be too thin. No, no, no. Duncan came over, Captain Dinko, and he looked at DJ and said, what is this? This is water. It's too thin. Now, like, yes, 
You ruined my It's justice. You ruined my volute. You've come so far, Jason. When Jason had been here at the casino last summer, <laughs> they asked him what a rue was, and he said my cat's nickname. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I would have said the black girl that dies in the Hunger Games. Oh! Yeah? I hadn't seen it. Oh, had I seen it? I don't know. Uh, maybe I think I think we have actually. Didn't we think of that? That's what you should have said. This that's like so a bad. smart ass, that's a smart ass dumb ass answer, which is awesome. The girl dies in Hunger Games. Next question. Yeah, next question, please. I don't oh, know why they asked you. know your mother sauces? I'm like... No. I, d- I would have said, like, my mom... I would have made something up and say, my mom's probably Italian, she makes tomato sauce. You know? No. And at the end of every sentence, apparently, if you're making the sauce, it ruins the sauce. I'm like, ew. Like, when I heard that, I was like, oh, my God. And I was, like, drinking red wine at the time, and I was, like, quiet. That's oh, one thing you need to making stew and pour silver. <laughs> He's like, can you make stew? Yep. And every time you make stew, oh, anywhere boy. you sear the meat. Oh. And he threw all the vegetables and all the meat at the same time. He oh. like, I've never made this. He's like, I don't care. You're useless. And he was really mad. And I said, DJ, go over there. I said, you know what? I'm going to fix your stew. I'm going to put a lot of wine in there. It'll be fine. <laughs> and I did. I put half a jug of white wine Wait. and half a jug of red. Was this today? Yeah. I That's why the stew is so good. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I had to let it sit and reduce for like an hour. Oh my for god! An hour. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Wine." He's like, "Good, more, more." I'm like, "That's right, you idiot." <laughs> Open the whole jug. He's like, "That's red in the white." Yeah. He's like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Ah, no, no, no. It'll come down. It'll be fine." That's hilarious. But he always relies on me, and I see why because he gives the task to someone else, and he looks at me like. Like a frustrated mad, like, see, this is why I need you to do it. But and then he's like, I can't make you do everything. You're the only one who works in cooking, though, right? The other guys don't work yet, or. Something. Yeah, but I had no experience prior to, and everyone thought I had all this experience. I'm like, I have none. Well, you kind of did. You worked at well, not all of them. Because you, you know, know yeah, cooking. I was an expert at opening frozen food from a box and putting it in the tray. You know, that's all I did. Oh. The whole time at the casino. And lifted heavy boxes. Yeah. And I complained that it was heavy, and they were like, "Well, what's wrong? Like, well, the muscles are 200 pounds." And they're like, "Yeah, we asked you if you could lift heavy objects." But nobody else lifted them, did they? No, nope. just, just me. Yeah. Oh my God, they're ridiculous there. Mm-hmm. Like, um, poor Angela didn't get a break today, and she was mad. And I'm like, I told you. Angela was there in the first yeah. place. Where Eight was she? Four. But what? they paid her a hundred bucks, and I was she gonna do it again. Oh, Angela at the, was at the casino? She didn't even text me, okay. Yeah. No, I guess she was busy. She was in a booth and they wouldn't give her a break and she was getting really mad and I was like, I also wanted to text her, like, because I heard overheard so then I was like, oh, okay. I told you so! Just kept oh, down and ran out. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't, I didn't talk to Savannah that much today, so I guess he wouldn't have told me. That too. Because he kept doing. He always says, I've never done it, and DD is like, I told you, meat, you see it, it doesn't matter if you didn't mix two, who gives a shit? It's the same thing for anything, any stew, anything in the tilt skillet, you always see your meat. I like, say, man, just go, just go walk, go, just walk. It's a line. Two jugs. I know, like, so they never got, like, angry, like, around me, like, directly, which is good, so. But, like, he can, you know, I'm used to people acting in that manner, so, like, that wouldn't really bother me if he was like that, so. But I suppose you probably had to deal with it countless times, and you didn't even his girlfriend, <laughs> so you probably had to deal with it more than she did. But here's the thing about Savan, here's the thing about Helen. When I'm around them, I really just up, but I really just bust out laughing. They're, like, absolutely hilarious. Like, I don't even know what it is. Like, Savannah is just, like, so funny to me. Oh, my God. Like, everything he says. He's like, I've been eating... He's like, I've been eating pa- protein pancakes and they're this tick. And I'm just like... They're this tick. He's, like, talking about the most random stuff I've ever heard. Like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, this is definitely, like, the worst, like, class. Like, definitely the worst classes to be in. is definitely, like, the worst year. Like... It's just How do you know that people, do the teachers tell you that this is the worst year they ever had anything? Well, it's only my first year there, and I don't know how the other courses went, but everyone else that talked about it had good feedback. So I'm thinking to myself, everyone ranted and raved about it, how good it was, and I'm not having any fun most of the time. I'm forcing myself to have fun, I'm just like... Like, we didn't get a trip. Every other class, 
Uh, yeah. They had a weekend trip. They went mm-hmm. out. They went out to like hotels. They went. They, they do like a tour. They see stuff. And yeah. Go, like, we didn't get to do anything. The we closest went. thing to a trip we had was yesterday. And the only reason it was fun is because Jason woke yeah. up and went to school. And the only reason it was fun for him is because I was just like, I was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, remember, can like you yeah. can. I sit because Andre beside me. God bless him. I, I, you know, I like him as a person. He was like, beyond, I knew he was gonna get beyond drunk. So, you know what? I was like, I'm not sitting beside Andre. I'm going to sit behind Mr. Noisy, although I'm going to regret it. And I, did. Andre, I get picked on the whole time. So drunk, get picked on. And I said to Andre, do you love me? And he's like, I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, you're drunk. <laughs> I think I was in the top five of like drunk people, but I can control myself when highly intoxicated, though. Like, you cut me off from getting completely slithered, though. Thank well, that was the thing. It was just... Take off the bus and we like hit the mini well they call the mini bars so they really were they drink all the beer you want they wouldn't tell you no and you're just like oh can I try that again oh yeah 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 mm-hmm. well you can stay here as long as you want talk about the product for a minute and keep drinking 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 yeah we had a good strategy you would talk to the people and like were you talking to them I would like grab all the samples there like I have like a hundred popcorn seasonings I have like fifty. Spices for me. Uh, it was so funny. <laughs> we were talking and the guy looked over and stared. <laughs> had his hand I'm like, okay, I think you should go over and get kicked out of here. But uh, grabbed all but I grabbed the samples. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> it was so good. All of oh, them. All the spices. It was like, <laughs> and everybody that, that came into the expo had like an empty bag and stuff like that. They had just a few catalogs and stuff. And my bag was like, shh, like... Yeah overflowing, like, a bunch of stuff, like, dropped out of it. Well, the people out there looking at us, they kind of, like, ticked off because we're not business owners. We're not there to yeah. learn about their product. It was all, like, oh, if you're a business it. owner. Yeah, um, like, you know, there was a label maker printer, which is nice, but it's just, like, we make wine, like, yeah. we make, it like, 120 bottles a year, but it's mostly for friends and family, so, like, I just want a few stickers because the stickers look pretty, so, you know. And then there was, like, a bunch of, like, blenders being sold. And there was a few steel things, you know, like, mm-hmm. what you were looking for. And, yeah, you had to be a business owner. And the steel they were, like, displaying was okay. It but, was their you know. cheap, run-of-the-mill, like, lower end and their high inspection stuff, of course, they didn't have. And everybody assumed that you were a like, business owner. And they probably thought I was just your pack meal. So they were all, like, chatting me up, and I was just, like, kind of, like... Oh, it must have been the shirt and tie. Eating all their food. Well, it's funny because when I saw Justin, my chef now, laugh mm-hmm. at me, he's kind of like, yeah. I, like, mm. I know, you were there. You weren't there for business. You were there just because, like, the school kind of shoved it down our throats to go to the food yeah. expo. Like, you know. Go to the expo. And then we had the most romantic lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Heaven forbid the market. We went to. Although I think she already knows. Mass Town Market. Yep. She was. She even called it. They went to a goddamn yeah. market. She's like, was it Mass Town Market? That's the famous market. And I was like, I don't no, I mean, it's, it's, it's no, it, it is good. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, me and Jason's date consisted of two fortune cookies eaten on the bus. Yeah. Romantic. But, like, I mean, we didn't, <laughs> I don't understand. I'll say it again. Uh, why we didn't do that? Why we didn't go into Halifax? Go somewhere nice. Jack Astor's. Yeah, even Jack Astor's was on the way. Exactly. Very late, but no, let's not stop there. And then hit the wino place and then leave. But no, no, no. We stayed at the goddamn expo for like two and a half hours. And within the first hour, you had gone through everything. What? Oh, yeah, I know. And plus, Jason had the privilege of traveling with me. And you're probably thinking, oh, you're a nice person. What's wrong with traveling with you? Oh my god, when I travel, you don't understand. I turn into like a completely different person. There's Bridezilla, and there's Godzilla, and then there's me. And then there's me traveling. Like, I wanted to make a rad TV show because, like, Jason was trying to, like, close his eyes and nap. And then I was like, then I randomly blurted out, sweetie. Like, I talked to, I talked to Faye from his class, and I'm like, I'm like, sweetie, get Betty to give me my Twistos. And they were like, they were Betty's Twistos. 
and you probably thought you probably thought like she slapped me, but no, Betty was just like, she yeah, just like asked for she it. just she just like threw the bag at twists at me. She's like shut up, and then like threw them at me. So I was like okay, good. And then you know Faye was like near me again, and then I'm sure you were trying to probably doze off, and then I was like, oh, no. sweet. There's one comfort zone in that on the headrest. I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm plus, uh, Josh. <laughs> he was like, mm. he yelled at her. I was like, oh, God. And then, um, oh, after we got from the wine place, when Mackenzie listened to his music, I was like, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He just like, he was like, so carry on, so carry on. I was just like, oh, my God. I said, you and your wig, get out of my life. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I went up. I, I went up to Faye and was like, "Sweetie," and I got like a bag of uh, goldfish from Betty, and um, I got yogurt from Faye. Did you get yogurt too? Yeah, Faye gave me yogurt. Uh, you were I think you weren't there for like five minutes, but oh, I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't anxious though, just because I was bugging somebody else. So that was awesome. Oh, was the peanut? Yeah, I uh, I managed yeah. to get half of your uh, four ninety five plus. Hard-earned money good. tax of your peanut <laughs> maple roasted peanuts. I managed to get like half the freaking bag. It's all right though. My maintenance level goes from here to there, and trust me, that was me. You know, there's mild salsa and spicy salsa. That was just mild, you know. Like, like I said, you know, first trip Halifax, next trip uh, Europe and hell. Where? I don't know. The only advantage, though, to doing the second year is that you can get your second and third block. Yeah, exactly. I'm only going just because, like... I can't afford. It's... You know what? School's terrible, and, like, every day I dread it, but I can't stop going back. I don't know. It's like some... It's like some bad addiction. I don't know what it is. It's like an abusive relationship. You just can't... I don't know. I get, like, some sick thrill out of it. Um, I just can't leave. If I could... If I could not work and still magically have money, I'd do it, but I can't. I know, like, it's not fair some people get their school paid for, mm -hmm. you know? And you know what? I'm actually 24% native, and I don't have my green card. And, you know, I... See, that... I, I, I even said that, because a lot of people would... You just, you just give me my effing card. They would. For me, my morals... My morals comes first, and I'd rather, like, you know... You I'd rather work for my own stuff. But I'm definitely, like, if you, you look at me... You could be, like, 0.01% native. I think, so that if... Like, in my opinion, if you are a native and you get your things paid for and you use them, like, if you go to school and actually take class and learn things and you use it. I'm like, yeah. yeah. But I did go to school with one girl who was native. And it's just that there's a native in their class that drank, like, a bunch of wine, and then there's a native in my class, and unfortunately there's, like, bottom of the barrel. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. Because both of them have huge potential to have a career, but it just, you know, I feel like, like we take why advantage. Why are you doing this, Jacqueline? I just want to learn how to cook so I can be a better wife. And I'm like, you're not even married. You don't even have a boy. So I'm like, that's a good goal. <laughs> Jacqueline's yeah. sounding like how I joke. You know, like, I joke. Joking? No. <laughs> like, I joke like that, but I know that she's probably serious when she says that. Yeah. I don't know what she's going to do. Beautiful exterior, but the interior needs some work, you know? Right. It's like a house, like, you know, oh my god, like, you're about to go inside the house, you're like, this house is beautiful. Then you open it, and it's like all run down and stuff. It's like, oh, okay, never mind, you know? Yeah. A mannequin, like, you breaking know? Breaking Bad moment. A Breaking Bad moment. It's like, oh, you look at this. Jesse's house, and it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad, but. I don't know, yeah, Matt and Andre are definitely like the top performers. Matt has personality problems, though. But Andre, he has everything it takes to actually have a career. I don't see any... Oh, and Steve. Steve's not, like, the top performer, but Steve's consistent. That's the thing. And, uh... I think, unfortunately, the bottom three in my class would be, you know, Bree, Connor, and Ryan. And I'd be, like, fourth lowest. Only because I get shoved in the corner all the time. So, it's not even my yeah, fault. Yeah, but on like, your exam, like, your food stuff, like, you... So... It's not even my yeah, fault. Yeah, but on your exam, like your food stuff, like you do, do you do well on your stuff? I do the best on the test, actually. Well, the second best. Bree does actually the best. I do the second best, oh, usually. On the stuff? Yep. Yeah. When we get in the classroom, 
I am like a practice and study freak. I just, I actually love to study and love to, you know, learn this stuff, right? Like, so when it comes to reading, I actually like nail it. But then I get in the kitchen and then they're just like, go over there in the corner, like Harry Potter, under the staircase and pretend you don't exist. Well, what did you do in your midterm? Like, did you do well on those? Um, I did okay, but I felt like you saw the food. In my opinion, you know, the scallops were amazing, the dessert was perfect, and the main course, there was nothing wrong with it. You know, I had white wine scallops with, like, perfectly cooked peppers and stuff like that. Oh, that's and right. then you saw me, I had, like, a beautiful mashed potatoes yeah. and, um, you know, red onions and white onions, like, blooming out of it. And it was red wine chicken. I know everything had alcohol in it, which actually, in my opinion, has appeal. Then I made some perfectly crusted apple pie. And I think I got an 80 out of it, 80%. Which is dumb because um, everyone said you did perfect. All my classmates said you did perfect. Like there's nothing wrong with any of your stuff. I dropped all my pies and I, was, I didn't get this high and they were like, well, because the pies, unfortunately, are 40%. The dessert's 40%. And I looked at dumb. Oh, dear said, God. Are you dumb? He's like, excuse me? I'm like, oh. <laughs> you're going to take cooking ability. Huh? Right out the window, and you're gonna hike up a fucking pie to forty percent. Yeah. I'm like, why don't I just give you a goddamn box of cookies? I'm like, would I give you ten percent? And he just looked at me and asked me, I was so offended. I'm like, the hell? I mean, the the only yeah, one no, he didn't can't... do bacon around scallops in my whole class. Everybody did bacon wrapped scallops. Oh yeah, yeah. I the told. One that didn't use round plate for my scallops. I took a square plate. It was the last minute. Dunkin' Bricks had 30 seconds. I ran out of hot water. You get a hot plate. Oh, yeah. And made little flowers for the scallops in the middle and took my white wine bird ball. Shoot. And brought it out. They were three seconds late. And it was the only one that I ate them all. And that was like instilled. So I got the best appetizer. Main was pretty damp, was pretty good. He said the sauce was really good. Uh, red wine, a balsamic, oh, I did a balsamic glaze. I'd never done it because we talked about it and we never did it. So I took everything we ever, never did and I did them. I'm like, well, the hell do I have to lose? Nothing. I told all my classmates if any of you guys make bacon rack scallops, you should look in the mirror and understand you have no creativity. And <laughs> no one uh, no one did bacon rack scallops after I said that because I just thought it was ridiculous that everyone did bacon rack scallops. I said, this is avant-garde food. We're calling your Earth's management. We are not going to make bacon rack scallops. Nope. And no one did. Not even Connor made them. No one did it because... Connor, yeah. Connor didn't make them. So, if he... Connor well, seems to get stuck in doing whatever. He doesn't seem to do too much. No, he just... Uh, there's two people in the class that stand around the most, me and Connor. The reason why I stand around the second most is because, like I said, I never, I don't get a task. I have to ask for it every time. It's so stupid to me. I'm like, come on. Like, I can do so much more than this. And I always tell everybody, just like, he's like, oh, well, if I have something for you to work on, you know, I'll tell you. It's just like, but you don't, though. Like, oh, my God. Like, because he keeps saying, like, oh, you're going to be, like, he keeps saying you're going to be a stay-at-home dad. I'm like, yeah, but... I still need to learn everything regardless of what I do. Like, oh man. Well, yeah. Does that make any sense? It's a piss off to have a piece of the puzzle and I just sit there. Yeah, because I'm just standing around a lot. I ask everybody else what they're doing and like how they're doing it though, so I'm still trying to... I'm getting blood out of the stone, pretty much. So... I'm taking my education out of hands at this point, which is responsible of me to do. I'm just thinking to myself, I guess the only reason why I settled is because I'm like, it's a community-funded college, but yeah. I felt like I had the best appetizer in my class. I don't mean to sound cocky, but I really well, did. Probably did. Because I had tri-colored peppers. It was beautiful. On two skewers, you know, two scallops in one, one on the other one, and crisscrossed them to perfectly aligned. Um, and then my chicken was cooked to perfection. The mashed potatoes were, like, amazing. And... My bloom of red red onions and white onions were perfect. And then Duncan docked 10 points. I would have got a 90. He docked 10 points because I used two vegetables, not three. Because red onions and onions are the same thing. 
You know, oh, I, yeah, okay. man, I can't believe it. I could have get a 90. 90 is oh, amazing. Oh, yeah, that's something else, too. He said, well, where are your vegetables? He's like, you only have a few here. I said, yeah. And I came out and I brought frying pan. I said, do you see this? He's like, those are, what is that? Like, burnt. I said, yeah. Someone put my burner on high. I came back from getting my shots from the veggies. And I came back to a cherry fucking mess. And I said, so... These veggies belong to something else. And they're now on my plate. And they're shit. And he was like, oh, and I said, so that's the explanation. I'm like, teach people how to use the knob. Someone turned it up and they're like, oh, oh well, it's not mine. But I helped Andre, Drunko, he can make a uh, bechamel. He couldn't do it, so I made it for him. I know, him. that's sad. I made it for him. Yeah. He had a better mark than I did on it. Oh yeah, figures that happens every time. Damn it. Andre, um, I made the sauce, like for the practicals, but unfortunately mine was like a bit thin. So Andre in my class, I call him my little strawberry. He let me use his grape juice. Thank you. And Matt in my class, um, my apples were a bit botched, so he actually let me have his apples. So I was like, wow. I said I said to myself, like, this guy hates me, and I'm not just a fan of his personality, but I'm a fan of it, a huge fan of his work ethic, number one fan for sure. But personality is like, you know. Yeah, he's very, very cold. Very social inept, too, and like, very closed off. Like, everyone says, like, I'm the cold person in the class, but like. No, that's, I would say Matt is like, very No, Matt is like, ice. ice cold. And Matt even said, like, I'm cold, but I'm like, uh, I said, you need to look in the mirror more. I said, we're the few people that look in the mirror the most, but you need to look at it more than I do because, boy, beyond, you know, like when Mackenzie cut himself open, this is like week one, this is before I even liked anybody, you know, as a friend, obviously, because I'm there to work, I'm like some people. Oh, Mackenzie cut himself open, I didn't know this. Yeah, I cut himself open like three times during the first two weeks, and Matt was just like snickering and laughing, and he said, does it hurt? <laughs> so they say I'm cold, but I'm like, uh... But I, I had, like, no reaction because, for me, if I'm connected to the person, you know, a few weeks ago, Mackenzie did that, I'd feel really bad, and I'd probably cry, even though, like, I'm not the one happening. I'm just such a good friend, you know? Like, I'm always there for people. But um, if it happened now, actually, I'd probably be a little bit like Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's fun. I remember when we cooked the first or second day, whatever day it was, and we took our... Knife safety. Tamara cut her hand so bad oh, that she could not use her left hand anymore. She cut every finger open. People like cut parts of the finger off. Someone like, cut like the end of the thumb, their fingers. I think Matt cut the middle of the thumb. A whole bunch of people that cut all their hands to shit and they're laughing when we just went over knife safety. I actually had a tally. My friend Eden, who is preggers in my class, she uh Oh yeah, I remember. She cut herself twice. She quit because of Mackenzie Duncan. And that's that's it. She said, like, I can deal with this pain. But she said, I can't deal with those two bastard bullshit. I was like, wow. That's why she quit? Yeah. Well, Duncan's hard. To... Duncan's hard to swallow, especially when you're pregnant. So, you know, my God. Oh, and yeah, Mackenzie was just, you know. Oh. Connor cut himself, like, I think here. I don't know how I did it. Lindsay cut, like, right here off during the practical had to go to the hospital and then Lindsay cut here and like he like I think here chopping up like vegetables like the wrong way wow, Matt Matt cut his um you wouldn't believe what Matt did Matt like cut off there he like and cut himself twice I don't know what he was doing again uh Mackenzie cut himself oh. here um here here, uh, here, here, I don't know how, don't ask me why. And then, um, he blamed me for this, and I wasn't even here, who was Chef de Parte. He, like, I think you know this already, he burnt the oh, graffiti. Yeah. He blamed me for that. I wasn't even there. I was in the Halifax hospital with my father before he was going to get tripped by bypass, bypass surgery. The last thing in my mind was some emo kid's wrists, trust me. Wow. Um, and then, okay, who's next? Bree, did I have a Bree? No. Bree just like cut here and I think here. Like she cut. I don't know where they're getting. Why are they getting cuts here and not here? Like, don't people chop like this? Like me, like yeah, like I cut. When I, the worst cut I ever did was my thumb. I cut it all the way through. 
because I would tighten, I would keep my thumb up. So I'd do it like this. And then, of course, right through. Yeah. Um, aside from that, a lot of the cuts from the school aren't from knives. Everything else. Bust pans, sharp edge, cutting boards, uh, hotel pans, sharp edges, blood everywhere. I'm like, what the hell is that? Never from my knife though. Never, never. Thank never. God. Oh, okay. Ne oh, I and guess. then somebody at work cut me with the knife day. Oh my God, yeah. They were like, is this sharp? I'm like, you probably shouldn't do that. And blood trickling, I'm like, and yes. They, it did. It was sharp. <laughs> Andre uh, checked his knife, and he actually split, cut open, like, and his, you could, like, go like that and move, like, on both ends. Andre cut himself because he was checking for sharpness. And then Andre cut himself, like, uh, he was trying to cut, he, like, chopped part of his, like, knuckles off, like. And then Steve, okay, Steve is next. And then uh, I'll go into my casualties. Um, Steve got, like, peeled, and he was just like, uh. and then again, like, he, like, cut to the bone in his hand. I was like, Steve, you are fucking crazy. What? He fucking, really, he did it? Yeah. Oh. I was like, oh, my God, Steve, his ang he has, like, I, you know, Steve never got angry at me ever, but he does have anger issues. In That's general. crazy. Like, I'm angry. It's like, oh, let me just chop into this, and then have a good chance of missing, and he did, and, yeah. And then he cut, like, here and stuff like that. Like, you know, I at least the thumb bend's better. And um, I think he, like, I think he was checking for sharpness, too, and he cut, like, there. I'm like, why do people check? That's the dumbest way to check for sharpness. You know, if you want to check to see if your knife is sharp, what I do, take the vegetable and cutting. If it glides, and I'm going to tell you about my casualties. None. None. Yep. When I check for sharpness with my knife, I never do this. I go. Or oh, and, and, your nail. and Mackenzie scrapes some of his skin off by going like that because he did it too hard. And if you do this and your nail cuts your nail, you just pretty good. But if you go too deep, you'll cut your whole nail through. But usually, if you go like that and you see the skin, or yeah. but you can feel that. And I always I check to see if it's beveled if it's not you know if it's not perfectly straight or if it's more on one side I'm like oh shit I gotta sharpen it now like I can't I can't even it out but sometimes oh, it'll God. hold to one side and you're like oh you go this way and it's dull and you go this way and it's sharp you're like shit <laughs> oh yeah and you're gonna love this like that's this, awesome you're like my casualties no. my casualties are no my casualties many not for my next well, it's just that, you know, my parents said, if you cut yourself and you do it for a stupid reason, like, you're being pulled straight out of that course because they want me to take it, like, seriously. And they ba they're basing it off of if I cut myself and take it seriously. And I'm like, okay, so you don't mind if I talk crap, well, t tell the truth about the head chef, you don't mind if I'm doing damage control constantly, or, like, making decisions off emotional reasons, and they're like, no, just don't cut yourself. <laughs> okay. Man. Well, you know what, the more I accepted to cut myself... When I was nervous of the night, the more I cut myself. Then I got the big knife. The, the big knife. Yeah, chef knife. Yeah. But the hinkle. And I was scared of the hinkle, but the hinkle is beautiful. And I was <laughs> scared of it, and I would never use it. And then my last chef's like, why are you using it with a knife? I'm like, oh, man, I don't know. He's like, he goes, you're an idiot. Use it. You're scared of it. Because you're going to cut yourself to shit. He's like, your other knives are great. This thing is a workhorse. It can give you a side of beef. You can cut through that. Give you a pork. It can, it can get you to do anything. You'll probably never sharpen it. Or if you do, it'll be once in a blue moon. So I started using it. And I fell in love with it. Because it, you can grip it. It's small. Nothing ever. Perfect. I got it as a Christmas present. My parent in laws and friends. <laughs> I've used it every day since December 27th. And I have never sharpened it yet. I've steeled it. I've never sharpened it yet. And I use it every Definitely. day. I've cut through like so many sides of beef, like the beef, like 12 ribs, and I'm like, blam, right through it. It's cool cut everything with it and I still have never sharpened it and it's still like 
use it for everything. Tomatoes, <laughs> cut through the bit mm-hmm. and I'm like, yes, it be just in that back bag. Shoo! And uh, I haven't started it yet. I really, really, really want to. Like, I'm hoping mom and dad will, like, see that I'm really putting my best foot forward. And, you know, I love this abusive relationship I call school. <laughs> and, you know, I get some real knives. Because, like, the knives that we have are so okay. standard. Okay, good. I didn't, I didn't want to say it, but yeah, standard. I wanted to agree to it. <laughs> well, I would say standard is a... Standard for, <laughs> I know, like... That They're is, bad. That's so standard. Oh, a fly. At least it looks like a fly around the light. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, the cat will not take it to But yeah, that's so standard. I I bought my own knives. Matt has the best knife in the class, Betty. His chef knife, Betty, named Betty. Oh. That's the best knife in the class, I'd say. Oh, is it a... It's a... I don't know the brand name. I think it was a seven hundred dollar knife. Yeah, I forget what said. it was, but it's all like it's all ripples. And yeah. It's all folded. Yeah. I think it's. And it's so funny because I was with their mom and we were looking through, and I'm like, well, you know, so they don't have the knife I want here, but I gotta hold it. I can't buy a knife. I will never buy a knife just because oh, it's this knife. I don't care. If I can't hold it, I can't. I can't buy it. And the Hinkle happened to have. The weight that I wanted, the, the uh, tang is all the way through, like it's not going anywhere. It's guaranteed for life. So if I took it at school, got pissed off, smashed it on the wall, and broke the shit, I'd get a new one. than that. But it, and I thought it was really, it wasn't even the most expensive one, but it didn't matter because it was a two, two men handful. And it was. Two, I was on sale, I think it was 207 And I, I was a lot of money, but yeah, then I saw Max. I was like, oh, that's like 700 bucks. Mm-hmm. But it's so funny, that was one one night. And he doesn't allow anyone to touch it either. Well, no. Ryan, I held it once. Ryan was able to use it once, and I said, can I touch your knife? And he said, sure, but only once, and then I get to touch it once. Uh, I, I, I even held it once. And he was like, "Whoa!" And I said, "I'm not using it." Just one of those very, very nice. I know. That. He was like, "Okay, you respect that." And I'm like, "Yeah, I respect it." And it's okay because I like my $200 better. Yeah, I think the most controversial moment was when Matthew uh, physically threatened me. What? You didn't know that? Mm-hmm. Did it in front of Lindsay and Mackenzie. Worst two people to do it. His best friend, my best friend. That's like so stupid. You know, that's like someone physically threatening you in front of, you know, your cat and your girlfriend. You know, that's pretty much the equivalency of it, right? Like, he did this, like, I think last Monday. And the reason why he threatened me was because I was talking to Nathan too much and he was getting jealous. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, and he said, like, you don't, he's like, you don't know me that well, like, and, you know, I don't appreciate you talking to people that I want to, like, shag and I'm like excuse me like you know Nathan's do you have any 15 year old boy I, I said like I have zero interest in Nathan trust me like I'm emo he's goth we're torn from the same cloth that's it you know who cares like I'm not trying to get dirty in love with anybody you know unlike some people in my class and your class I'm there to I'm there to work and do a job and if I make friends along the way great but I'm not gonna like hook up with anybody like no thank you wow you know wow that seems to me out of character but now you say it I can see it no you can definitely <laughs> see it because I, I you know I confronted him like after I talked to Nathan I said like why are you giving me a dirty look the whole time like and he didn't threaten me then but he just said like you know I don't know why you're talking to Nathan I just said you know I was just talking to him like are you mad and then he's like no I'm not mad like he wasn't mad at the start and then like apparently he was like asked me all these questions and then like that's when he exploded in front of uh, Lindsay and Mackenzie randomly like he had Tourette's syndrome I'm like are you kidding me like this is the stupidest thing wow and um the you beauty of it the beauty yeah see what I mean I get physically threatened um my opinion I like I talked to friends and family about it and they said I wish to hit you and then I said I do too because I would have sued him yeah. he would have been kicked out of the course Hopefully I would have got his knife. I would have said, i reduce your sentence if you give me a knife. And, um, yeah, there you go. So okay. I actually did what she hit me. 
people. Because I have a lawyer, actually. So. At school, were scared of Evan, and they laughed. And I said, you know what? They're not going to kick him out because it's free money. I'm like, they will never kick him out. Yep, they won't. It's free money. That's why when Evan talks to me, I'm very nice to him. All the time. But I'm I, not going to take him off because they won't kick him out. But if he throws that toolbox at me, I will press charges and it will be oh, successful. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, he he threw his toolbox and done it. You take this way before I fucking kill you. And he threw his box. Yeah. Oh yeah, he whipped his box at him. And Duncan didn't press charges. I would have no. pressed charges so fast, like. Well, you got about Duncan. The man was stopped for dealing businesses. So. I know exactly, and they have to work at a gas bar, and then he condones cheating and drinking all the time. Like, one time Lindsay said I, I drank a 1979 beer, and then like Duncan and him got in like a 10 minute conversation. I'm like, and Lindsay's like, I think Duncan likes me now. I'm like, I think so too. That's awesome. Like, <laughs> Duncan hated me. And then, like, I said to Duncan, I said, like, I do what you want today, just don't swear at me again. And then he actually calmed down. He fixed my scene the other day. That they all fucked up. He fixed it. Oh, That's like shock of the day. Then, but I'm, I'm happy with that. Then so. he, we butt heads a lot, and then he'll all get him. And I said, you know what, old man? Try to put that on there because it was a piece that wouldn't fit on a mixer. And I'm like, go ahead because it don't fit. And I said, if you can make it fit, I'll kiss your fucking ass. And he couldn't do it, and I'm like, it's because this place is so fucked, Duncan. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And I walked away, and he went to get something, and then he came up to me and said, hey, I found the piece. I said, oh, really? I said, imagine this car. He's like, oh, it's okay, buddy, right? And I'm like, well, what's wrong with you now? Like, Today, he's like, you got a really in the spirit. Daddy, you fuck you in the spike. So I'm like, I have to do something. And he took all my carrots, put them all, and brought them all to me. and said, here you go. And I was doing them and he said, how they're beautiful. And I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> and he did all the work. He cut them all. He brought them all to me. And he said, there you go. I'm doing them all. Okay. Andre's like, those are perfect to the end, dude. So I'm like, thank you, Andre. That when, when you guys did your, like, time test or whatever, I was so happy. Like, I looked at everyone's marks because I'm special. You know, yours was like 0.9, which means 90%. And then I was just like, okay, one of my faves, even at the time, you know, even before our uh, trip. Because I was inspired because you actually work and no one else does. So, and then Andre, another favorite of mine in your class, he got the lowest mark. I was like, ah. And Faye, I think she got a 75%. So I'm like, yay, Faye, yay. Yeah, I want, I really want Faye to do well too. Yeah. Selena, oh, other than you, Selena has some good knives, too. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Trophy, trophy wife has some good stuff. I know. I love, I love, 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 Selena. Oh, my God. Oh. Like It was so funny. I saw her yesterday, and I said, do you guys see Selena? And then She's pimping. Josh was like, oh, yeah, I saw her. And that's great. I laughed. I was like, yeah, okay, you saw her. Oh, man. Every time I see her, room. I'm like, you see me rolling. They hate it. Like every time I look at it, like milk. yeah, Taiwanese, Taiwanese milk. Taiwanese trophy wife. She is like drives you know. around this brand new Escalade. <laughs> is she in school? Oh yeah, because she is she, beyond she follows, stunning. She follows her daughter around, which is not touch her daughter. Because but you know, she's like she's milk, and she walks around with a teeny little skirt on, little like girl school girl socks, okay. just to go over her boobs. <laughs> and she was wearing a leather skirt yesterday, and I said, Josh, it's you. And I go, yeah, I saw him, I saw him. And I'm laughing. But is he in cooking? Yeah. She's in the cook with the daughter, yeah. See, I give people... She does all the daughter's work, which is fantastic. Right. Yeah. You know, I give people, like, it's... If I give somebody a five, like, they're really good. And there's, like, six, seven, and eights. But Selena, she's a nine. Like, wow. Yeah. She's it's, good. Does she... Language barrier, but she, when you ask her to cut something, it's, like... Super precision. Yeah, exactly. And Betty does like nothing. But again, Betty's also like Betty's a nine and a half on looks. She's going back again, I think. I think so too. Are you rating their looks or are you rating how they cook? Oh, trust me, just their looks. You know, but it doesn't matter what they look like. You know why? She's just like, oh, it's just like it's pulling teeth with her. You know, like I'm not even in her class, and I know how how much she underperforms. You know, she's she's like, if I were to combine her looks with her skill, she'd only be like a three and a half. Like, 
her and her mom does all her work. Yeah. The mom. Okay, you use this, you do this one, you need a different. Okay. Oh, but, 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 oh. Betty, Betty. And Shaq one day was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm Yep. Yeah, yeah probably. She, her mom said it's a condition for her work placement that she has to go with it. I feel sorry for her. That's, that's awesome. I wouldn't mind that. I say, I pretty much say every day I wish my mom was in class. Yeah. Only for damage control, though. I don't want to do all my work, but it's just because, like, my mom is brutally honest. So, you know, she's a cut, you know, people call her cutthroat Susan, so it's just, like, don't mess with her. She's the nicest person, but she will flip a table to defend me, so it's just like, don't mess with her. Like, she has extreme OCD, like... And plus, uh, well, she said, she said, like... Yeah. <laughs> I know, she said, like, if I was in the course, like, you wouldn't have to wash any dishes, I'd just sue them, because I know how you get with washing dishes. Like, <laughs> I get, like, really bad. So I'm just, oh. I don't I see everyone at the school, and I look at them and say, why are there eight people in the district who need free, clean, 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 clean. I know. I just, yeah, I'm the first one to leave. I'm just but like, I. Last two weeks, DJ's like, okay, I was doing something, he's like, can you stop cleaning? I'm like, why? Like, you get your box? Go, go to the back way, and go home. Oh my god. He's like, you just make sure no one sees you, okay? So I go upstairs to Duncan, he's like, you don't need to change the kind of thing. And he's like, you work too much. I know people try to make it look like they work good today. The past two weeks is like, I know. It's a sound like show. The people now that realize that they haven't done anything all year are starting to try to make it look like they're doing everything, and he's like, I see through it, so. Because now, for the end of the day and stuff, I don't want to do anything. Because I said, I'm sorry to you, but I'm, I'm tired now. And, I can't, I won't carry the torch to Dan, you have to get some He's like, that's fine. Like, I'll work for you. Yeah, they, you All know. through my lunch hour, I will never break, because I don't break during the day. So I will do everything for you, but when it comes in the day, you're going to have to hand the torch to somebody and just give me a couple of tasks. You and Angela in your class, and Selena, uh, you know, she's a good worker too, are definitely like the top people, and you guys have to do everything. That's why Angela is so high strung, you know? I'm not being rude, like... No, she is high strung. And I, I said to her, like, you have a very strong personality, and I love it. It's just that, obviously, people are stressing around, aren't they? And she's like, oh, yeah. Because she said I have to do everything. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I get it's it. It's the workload. It's, you get... Everything's... She's like, everyone depends on me to do everything. And I agree. And I said, oh... It's working. Yeah. And so it was the same. Well, she was like, oh... And because all the baking, all the desserts, she's like, oh, what am I going to do? I said, well, you have to do something else, Chef. And he's like, oh, that's of course, tomorrow, but he'll get her to do all the stuff tomorrow. Yep. But Tamara, it was, she walks around the kitchen like she's untouchable, and she says if she knows something's right, she'll be like, no, that's wrong. No, 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 huh? no, 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 that you're doing it so wrong. And I'm like, Tamara, you don't give a shit, you don't care. Why are you even bothering? She just wants to live free for as long as possible. I feel like, um, you know, she's a very false, naive girl, meaning she knows what she's doing to people, and she knows that she hurts. But it's all about her and self-entitlement. She is the epitome of a princess, you know. My God, she's a paper bag princess. Yeah. Yes. She gets free drives from, you know, uh -huh. Mr. Noisy cigarettes and whatever she wants she gets because all she has to do is shake a tail feather and you know mm. and I feel like I feel like she's degrading herself you know well she does she walks around don't look at my boobs Mackenzie you pervert and then she wears these little shirts that like throw them out yeah exactly and you're like yeah. her and stretch mark boobs like <laughs> you know yeah. it's just it's awful to me like I don't buy it at all you know I agree with you she's yeah, she definitely knows what she's hurting. How could you Steve not? said, like, oh, Tammy's a nice girl. I'm like, like, oh, Tammy's a nice girl. I'm like, is she really Steve? And then he's like, no. And I'm like, thank you. 
Steve is now better out of all people. You know, I call dad, I call Steve Daddy Steve in Horseshoe Head. Because he has a horseshoe head. <laughs> his hairline. Get it? His horseshoe head? Yeah, I saw it as soon as that. I said, you know, I said to Steve, you're very lucky, Steve. Right? So. But all the ladies like Steve, though. Oh my god, like, right. Faye said if her husband died, she'd date Steve. And I said, I, I was like, mm mm. Because uh, when oh my, my you know, after my dad gets his triple bypass surgery, finally when they stop canceling it, you know, unfortunately he's not going to make it. And I already like, I already dealt with that emotionally. Like I'm good, I'm ready for him. So after my dad passes away, unfortunately, Steve is, Steve and my mom are going to be together. Because my mom, every time she sees him, she can't stop talking to him. I'm like, mom, shut up. Like he's not. He's still to go for triple. Triple bypass, yeah. I didn't even know that existed, but... Yeah, I brought my dad to double in St. John, and we were waiting, we were waiting to be brought in, it was like a routine thing, mm -hmm. so we were lined up, so the journeys were lined up, and his head, yeah, his feet were this way, and his head was that way, and they parked him, and he could see, and he said the doors were swing open, and they swung open, and there's blood everywhere, and he said one of the clamps were like going in someone's artery, so they were like, nurse, nurse, anyway, my dad's like... Oh, oh. And they couldn't, they postponed the surgery. And they had to clean the room down. And he was like, oh my god. And I said, what's wrong? Because I never seen my dad scared. He's like, well, I had to sign a death waiver. And he goes, I have to do it again. Oh my good god, no. And I was like, really? He's like, yep. And I said, how? And it was the only time that my dad was like, asked me, like, are you going to stay tomorrow? I said, yeah, I'll stay. But the only time my dad's ever been fearful. And he was. Panic, panic. But then he got it done with the one. Okay, so we can think that we're just like in like cattle out. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, everybody in my class has like, you know, their problems and stuff like that. Like Bree and Steve are much older than me and they probably have more life experiences. But I said to Bree, I said, you know what? I know that we all have problems. But I feel like I suffered the most. I feel like I had the hardest life, even though I only had problems from 19 up until now, 23. So I only had like four and a half years of like problems. I said, I feel like I suffered the most. And, you know, because like just recently, you know, my dad even being this sick in the first place and like, you know, almost geriatrics, it's like awful to deal with, right? And like he's on the verge of death constantly, coughing in the middle of the night. And he sleeps like, beside my room so I hear this it's torture and then you know my girlfriend of like two years like dumped me and we were we were, she wasn't even a girlfriend and like we were engaged for god's sakes and like you know Mackenzie turning evil all of this like crap is happening at once and you know I come to school with a smile on my face I'm not like everyone else yeah I'm not like everybody else like if they have one problem that they put on themselves you know like Mackenzie tomorrow like he he was drunk all day. He was. He got ripped last night. And I knew he was gonna. You called it. You called it in the bus. I did. He was like, I drank a whole bottle of wine, ate beer, and he was just pissed yep. off. And I'm like, oh well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I said, you know, I didn't, you know, like I said, the only reason he was nice to me today, I think, is because he was drunk, and he was. Sorry. And Matt wasn't there because he was drunk. You know, Matt blames his autism. Connie blames his anxiety. Mackenzie just says, I don't want to talk about it. Bree says, like, you know, my daughter is, like, self-pitying herself. Her daughter is perfectly healthy, perfectly capable, so, you know, Steve is just annoyed. Steve has legit reasons, so good job, Steve. And Andre, good reason, so I'm not going to talk poorly, but... Yeah. And Lindsay and Ryan, oh, don't get me started on Ryan, test, uh, he's, like, the brain tumor thing. But, like, I was about to say the it's like, shut up, the brain tumor. But Lindsay and Ryan, they both take testosterone. And they, like, lash out, like, you know. Uh, Lindsay said about me, like, my girlfriend is fake, like, because uh, Lindsay's cousin talked to my sister, and she said, like, oh, no, Sandra's not dating Victoria. And then after, um, you know, I studied and I said, oh, my God, your girlfriend, like, she's pretty enough. I didn't mean to say that, right? And then, like, she just jumped at me and said, like, you know, I don't want to hear your shit. I don't want to hear next explanation. And, like, you worried about your girlfriend? I worried about mine. I thought to myself. You're the one that inspected me, and he told Mackenzie first, like, that my girlfriend wasn't real. I was, like, making her up. I'm like, you know, that's some... If I made her up, 
then I have some like multiple personality disorder or schizophrenia or like ter- <laughs> like I have something yeah. really bad in the head if she's not real. So, and you know what I said? I said people shouldn't worry about if my girlfriend's real or not. You know what they should worry about? That I'm bitter that all my past relationships failed for the dumbest reasons. You know, like oh you have no personality, your skin's too dark, you're too open-minded. And, like, your pushover. It's like, really? You know, I said, let's take that into consideration. So, did I lie about my past relationships? Yes, I did lie. I lied I was in love. And I lied that I was going to marry them. So, you know, I didn't deny anything. So I said, yes, Victoria's safe. So, whatever. If if that makes them feel better. So, like I said, I feel like I had to struggle the most. And I feel like... Yeah, like... But I, I don't... I don't snap, you know? I... I talked to Lindsay about it very calmly too. You know, I didn't, I didn't like pull any punches and say like, you I was like, let's, you know, let's talk about this, and you know, I'm not gonna raise my voice to get out of character with you. So, you know, he was glad to talk about it, but he just denied it, and then Mackenzie denied everything. I was just like, who is being real in this? Like, it's just all like, come on. So that's why, like, I was sick for, I was sick for a while too. Like every day, I was like literally physically ill, and again. I wasn't late for class. I didn't tell everyone I was like sick all the time until after it happened. I said, by the way, for the last past few months, I was like coming up every morning, you know, just saying. So that's why I've been a bit like droopy and sloppy when it came to cooking. And again, you know, I'm perfectly fine when, you know, it's like I'm the very first and I flip a table and then it's done, you know. I'm not like, oh, let me like take my anger in the world and like let me snap at people and blame something for it, you know. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like I'm an 80 year old in a 17 year old body or whatever, so. <laughs> but for me, like, you know, the past is the past. Past is pondering about silly things, and I just think to myself, like, your past makes you, so just own everything that you do, and then you don't have to worry about it. That's right. Like, I have no skeletons in my closet. None. Because I don't like it, because it's, you know, it's, it's done, so it doesn't matter. Like, the skeletons are dead. They're not going to, like, walk out of the closet. Like, if I had a zombie in my closet, ooh, I'd be scared. Um, Half its head off. And I feel like I've progressed so much. I went from, like, you know, every day I was, like, you know, shaking like a madman. And I didn't cut myself magically. (laughs) I don't know how that works. Um, To, like, you know, after, no, 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 that's wrong. Like, I think you just killed my nerves. I'm not nervous anymore because my nerves are just shot. So, you know, I take that as a positive thing, you know? No more shaking, like, you know, no more like, oh my god. That's something, too, since the school year, like, something will drop, I'm like, huh? And other people in the class, like, scream, and I'm like, huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm, like, really... No nerves. I'm, like, really mellow now. Like, I used to forget it, everything, but I have, you know, I, this is a good emotional boot camp, I think, you know? I think I went in this course to find myself, and I'm only halfway there. But I'm really happy I went through it anyway. Well, I'm going to come visit you guys next year anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I told you guys that you think Alicia wants to meet you, and I said, I said, maybe you two have, and I'm like, I don't know why, but... Yeah. And he was like, oh, God. Do you want to see the baby's room? I didn't tell you, like, fuck no. I don't want to see it. And today at lunch, I was sitting there, and I said, oh, what did he say? Did you know you should be careful what you eat? And I said, oh, made some joke about pork. And he said, pork? He said, don't even fucking talk to me about pork. He's like, if your girlfriend didn't like pork or sucius, you wouldn't be in this fucking predicament. (laughs) 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 You know, so maybe you should shut up. I'm like, oh, I hate you so much. Mm -hmm. I can never get him. I only get him a couple times. So hurt. Ebony and Ivory. Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> but today he was complaining uh, about the So who's looking for the caramel glaze? And I said, well, uh, no wonder. He's like, I can't. He says, the caramel glaze on there, right on the wrapper. I don't know how much more clear I can be. He's like, it's English. And now I said, oh, you need an English cream chef? And he came back and he's like, shut up. I said, well, why would they call it caramel glaze? English cream. If it's English, why does it have a French name? Does it make any sense? It's like, you don't know. No. 
Yeah. I know, like, I'm learning, like, what I like about this course is, like, I'm learning so much about, like, human behavior, like, mm-hmm. and I think that's what's keeping me in the game, to be honest with you, because I think to myself, you know what, if they're not going to let me cook or do anything, like usual, they always complain, like, oh my god, like, well, okay, like, the students never complain, but, like, chef and always complains, like, like, what are you doing, like, oh my god, you're not doing anything, and I said, well, I got in the past. But, like, no one else has a problem with me just walking around and asking questions. So, I actually do have a good rapport with, like, the fellow students. I really do. Like, like I said, the only person I have a problem with now, ironically, is Mackenzie, strangely, in my class. Which is weird, because, you know, like I said, best friends are like, who are you, in, like, a matter of weeks. Like, but, yeah, like, Matthew never has a problem. Even now, even after, like, he bullied me. He threatened me, and he was all crazy. But, you know, I don't hold grudges, and um, he doesn't mind answering any question that I have, like when it comes to cooking, still. So that's what I said. I'm his number one fan when it comes to work ethic. And I'm learning probably a lot from him, ironically. And even Connor's teaching me stuff, too. Like, Connor, he's only 18, so I guess a year older. <laughs> but, you know, he worked in a community kitchen for six months before high school, so I actually do have a lot of respect for him, and, um, you know... Because he's a, he's a genuinely nice person. He doesn't have his own personality. Like, he's kind of like Matt and Lindsay together. He's had a bad feeling when nothing told Connor he was too fat. What? Yeah. Oh, that was a, that's a horrible That was the one time that I remember, I think it was Florence said, how come I don't work in the front in the buffets? And he goes, because he said she, she was visually unappealing. <gasps> what an awful thing to say. It wasn't but... funny. I laughed, but I was like, wow, but I was shocked. Do you work up front, Jason? Yeah. <laughs> All the time. If it's carving, he's like, you're carving. I'm like, why? He's like, because you are. Because you're visually appealing. He's like, because you don't know. He's like, you're the one that carves. He goes, look, come here. He goes, come here. He'll get someone to carve. He's like, look at that. They'll carve. Like, you're supposed to be thin to win, like, paper thin. Can you teach them how to do it? I'm mean, so close. Well, you tell, like, you cut meat, you go against the grain, cut meat. Because yeah. if you need to cut it thin, and the pie, if you get two or three pieces that are thin, looks like a lot more, and it really is only one regular piece. You cut it really, really thin, it looks like a lot more. It's the whole visual effect. So people are cutting meat, and they'll cut it like thicker than my thumb. Mm. And he's like, you cut now. I'm like, okay, just cut me some flats. And they're thin, thin, thin. He's like, look at that. Your three slices are still not even as half as thick as their one. Goes, this is why you're carrying puffo cards. Mm-hmm. And the people, even though <laughs> you can get five slices, and it's still not as thick as a normal <laughs> slice. And that's the whole thing. Like, the chef I have now may not be the best, but he's money savvy. And that's I, my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> At school, someone's like, oh, I didn't give enough chicken to that person. I said, why? I said, well, it's only four strips. I said, yeah, come here. Take four strips of chicken and cube it. I said, look at that. It's a handful of chicken. I said, see that? Bullshit. You see that? Six bucks. You see your thing? Doesn't look like six dollars. Mine does. I'm like, it's a visual, it's a visual mind fuck. It's all you got to do is make it look like it's a lot, and it's not. And they're like, wow. And I said, Longs so. and slices? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I was like, cube them up. Handful of chicken now, not four strips. Handful of chicken. This yeah. looks like six dollars. We make fish steaks. They're like, boo. Like it's six ninety nine. Like you lay them on the plate and like cut them in half. Bam. Look at that. Looks like six bucks. Yours looks like Captain Highlander fish steaks. I bought it fucking so bees. Like cut them all in half. <laughs> and I lay them and I layer them. Like there you go, six bucks. I didn't know you wanted to be a horse. People, people ask me, like, what kind of people, like, who do you like to date? Like, who's your, like, dream person? I said, well, she's in her 70s. Yeah. She's green and she's a little wrinkly, you know? So, like, I'm very, like, money savvy. Like, oh, my God. Like, the whole point of working and going to college is to make, like, a bigger paycheck at the end of the day. Yeah. It's to avoid those minimum wage student jobs or convicted felon jobs, you know? You know, I know I'm being, like, blunt here, but... You know, and I, you know, I don't think that they're all like convicted or high school jobs. I think that you make a choice, right? Like, and I choose to get a fat paycheck. I, you know, I always say in class, I am very, very rich, but I'm not rich on my own terms. I'm rich for my parents, like just having a supportive friends and family circle. 
it's not like it has actually nothing to do with money. Well, okay, it kind of does, but you know, everybody's college educated and has a good career. So I want to be part of that. You know, as Lil Mermaid Mermaid would say, part of you. The thing that I like about culinary that I like about this course though, when it comes down to tests and people talk, 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 you cannot fake it to make it. It's impossible. Okay, yeah, I can do that, great, do it. I need a fish velouté and I need you to do this. Yeah. You don't know what to do. You can't, you cannot fake it, you can't. You can get powder, you're, you're going to know it's powder, because the powder is so, so goddamn salty, and so bad taste to the palate. But anyway, you can't fake it to make it, and that's what I love, is that when it comes time to push and shove, people who think they can do it, always jump right off the cliff. They're like, Woo! And then I'm like, oh look, there's a bridge right there. Take the bridge. Can't fake it, and that's mm-hmm. why I love cooking so much. Can't BS. Can't do anything. I don't love cooking school, and we have to do tests too, because everybody thinks that like me and Bree are just like anchors, and I'm just when we when me and Bree get into the classroom, we turn we turn up the heat, you know. Everyone else is failing tests. Like Matt and Connor failed their smart serve. Me and Bree got like 90 plus, you know, easily. I feel like my I'm failing the uh, fucking vocab like the glossary tests and I'm like hey chef you oh, me ask too. these weird things but I'm like I know all these other terms I'm like why aren't they there it's like well I choose the weirdest ones and I'm like okay mm-hmm. but I chef Evan's a troll too he yeah, picks the dumb stuff to fucking do like, study man yeah exactly like, He's and like, they don't give us any warning we need two weeks warning or at least 48 hours warning depending on the school for tests he, this is not how it goes then I'm like I hope this doesn't count a lot because I have a 3.4 and I'm like I would like to keep it at least 3.2 and up, but I don't want to go down. Matt has the highest mark, I the second, and Mackenzie was third. Which I was... I, no, actually I wasn't shocked at. This is for first semester, right? That was before tomorrow. I think now... I don't know what it is. I think everyone... First of all, everyone dropped a whole grade point average, for sure. Probably. We got, like, everyone collectively got, like, bad after... Oh no, because my other cooking stuff I did well and everyone else failed their steak and all that fresh and low, 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 low. I don't know. I the highest I, got, I was like, yeah, yeah, I felt like a proud pop out. I didn't know I was the highest until Sam told me. I know, I was just like, oh. like you got the highest today. I'm like, I always do that. I know it's off one and I'm not supposed to, but it's okay. whatever. Okay. So I was like, what? Highest mark in the class. I played it. Uh, Anjo was chicken. second. Oh, today. No. <clears throat> When you got the 9, uh, Angela got 8.9, 89%. I was like, yes. It was, um, we had 15 minutes to make chicken and plate to have, to make it look rich. Mm-hmm. Then I'd taken, uh, rice, made rice, boiled rice, cheap, vegetables, had little stuff coming out, cut my chicken, made my... Uh, red wine reduction toys for that, I think. Nice. Shoot. And then the chicken, the only thing was, it's a little under seasoned because I just threw in the salt and pepper at the last second because I forgot. It was just a little under seasoned. Everybody, when I did my pack roll, all my classmates said 10 out of 10 unanimously. Everyone loved it. I was so disappointed when I got that 80%. Like, I think the 10% I lost because of timing. And I'm like, well, I mean, when people are pushing out of the way, like, you're going to be one or two minutes late. Well, you, like, you see, when we do, when you guys do yours, it's not like we do our tests. Eight, there's 18 people. I know. And then you're no burners and you sit there and you wait. Yeah, I know. I know. I have it lucky. And I still struggle with time. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Shit. I'm like, why don't you let people do it upstairs, Mm -hmm. though? Well, because, like, well, we have to save it for the block students because yeah. we don't want to like, wear down the equipment. I'm like, well, I mean, that's the whole point of the block. You yeah, have that one block student that's, like, a genius there. And I, I thought he was a fucking jokester. I don't even know his name, but he was talking about cooking stuff in his tail light. He's like, I always do shit like that. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, yeah, I go to use my car and I cook shit all the time. Asian, Indian block. Okay. Awesome. I've done... 
hot dogs in the muffler, you wrap them up, you don't get the exhaust. And I was like, okay, you're a fucking idiot. And he's like, oh, it's Frank. But he has been in the industry and he runs a business with someone. And he, but he has so much knowledge that the guy's like, you need to get your blocks. He's like, okay, so he's going to write them all in a row. But he is like so fucking smart. And I'm like, wow, like he threw me for like 180. I was like, what? He is so super smart. When's your graduation? 20. May 20th is the last day of school for us, if I can recall. Yeah, but May 20th, and it's the 25th. Of May is the graduation? No, June, June. 25th or 27th. Are you going to your graduation? I don't know. Well, if you let me know, let me know what's going to be Sounds good to me. Okay. I'll answer. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Unless you don't want me to. If you bring the cat. If you bring the baby. I want to bring the cat and lock the cat. Mm-hmm. I know the baby's still going to be cooking mm-hmm. though. Yeah. The baby will be almost done by then. Ding! I'm bringing the little cat still. Oh, um, it's confirmed. Like one of my friends, friends. Yeah, friends, friends. She's letting me bring her two kids to my graduation two years. I'm like, yay. Uh, her kids' names are Lacey and Riley. Lacey will be eight by then, and Riley will be five by then. So, like, I'm so honored. Just because they're so cute. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, I need to bring them to graduation. Like, for me, like, I like babies. Well, okay, that's a given, though. Um, and kids up until nine years old. After that, I'm like... Uh, it's kind of like, you know, kittens and stuff like that. It's yeah, just like, absolutely. you know, because then they start to get sassy. Like, my cousins, yeah. I love them to death, but they're 10 years old now, and so, already. I'm like, really? They start that young? Like, I thought they started at 13, but now I'm like, okay, I only like kids up until 9 now. It's younger and younger. Yeah, it does get younger and younger. And they look, they actually look significantly older every time I see them, too. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah, I don't get it. It's like, that time machine. I'm just glad we went there when me and Mackenzie got into, like, a argument. Because, like, I was going at his age. I'm just like, you're so old. Like, you're 35. And at the, at the time, you were 35. Yeah, it's funny because so Sammy was Mackenzie like... 35? Well, Sammy thought I was like, I'm so happy that you're my age. I was like, oh, well, yeah. I know, because, like, Mackenzie's so high, strong, annoying. I said, like, I'm so glad, like, someone 25 is working with us. Like, I said he was 25, right? And then I was, like, telling him, like... Before Jason told me his age, I said, like, oh, my God, like, Mackenzie's, like, so annoying at times. Like, he's my best friend at the time, but he's, like, so annoying. And then I, like, I, like, I'm not ageist at all, but it's just, like, when someone's attacking, like, the way you live your life and your parents and, like, you know, he's, like, doing low blows, like, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to low blow you back. And then I went in his age. So, and I'm like, you're so old, are you like 35, like you're all wrinkly and you have grays everywhere, <laughs> like, you know, and he really does too. And I'm like, you're 35, and then mm-hmm. Jason tells me like five minutes after, like, oh, I'm 35. I'm 35. And then like, they should have had a reaction cam because I was like, what? Like, I was like, no, you're not. I'm not so like, like And yeah, I needed to see some ID, so that was like so embarrassing for me. I felt bad. I felt bad because you know he was actually 35, and I was just I came across as like really ageist. Oh, you were. But, but I'm not though. It's just like when someone call, says like you're living off your family's name, and like you're a brat because you used to go to like private colleges, and like you like nothing you bought like your way into everything. I'm just like, what is he well, like? I'm st- you're not old yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. but you, you suffered that too. You remember when you went to university? People were like, oh, well, can you get some of that too? Um, yeah, my parents, when I was growing up, they started saving money for our university education for me and my brother, so we had most of our schooling paid for, and we were very fortunate, so I didn't take a student loan, but I did have like friends who, anyway. I did have people say to me, like, oh, people, you know, kids don't appreciate it and everything's paid for. And that's not true, because my brothers and I, we all, like, actually, one of my brothers went to community college. He did a three-year program. We got a three with the government. And he just graduated from university with a bachelor's. So he's, like, he's done really, really well. And then my other brother and I, we both finished with our degrees and everything. And we've all, 
the people that get flagged for that. And like, well, my parents saved really from like day yeah. one. Uh, they didn't yeah, exactly. take it for granted. Like my my parents, they're Europeans first, and I consider myself European before North American, meaning um, you know they cherish money and work and family over sex, drugs, and um, mm-hmm. rock and roll and alcohol, right? <laughs> so you know the. When I was born, they were thinking about me being in college. It wasn't, yeah. let's bring people down. Let's tear the people down about like where they come from and how they live their life. You well, know? that's just jealousy because he, he was making, didn't have a, he you know, have the same, he, was, the same. he was ranting because clearly he must have been intoxicated at school again. And, you know, maybe yeah. this is, he was starting to like tomorrow at the time, right? So then he went off on me because like, oh, I don't wash dishes at home, like, I don't clean or whatever, and I don't cook, and I don't do anything, and just like he's like, "Oh, you're a little princess or whatever." I'm like, "What?" Are you I said, "Like, what is your problem?" You know, like, it's, it's so stupid to me. I just said, like, me not doing anything at home is like, no one's like concern. The only reason I bring it up and talk about it is because I think it's funny. So if people don't think it's funny, that's fine, but they don't have to like call me, you know, prin- princess Sammy or whatever. Like, give me a break, you know. Well. Well, like I said, after, this is like, as soon as he liked that little girl, then it's just like, you know, like I said, just trickling down. And right now, I don't even know what we are, like, it's he's so just into this whole stuff. Like I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid him, but here's the thing, he is so loud. Even if I'm sitting with, like, Jason's class, the co-course, you can hear him all the way, like, on the other the room. Like, if we were sitting, like, the cafeteria, like, if you were sitting here and I was sitting here, you can still hear him. I'm trying to avoid him at all costs, but like, if everywhere I turn, I can hear him and I can like see him, it's so annoying. He's really loud. So that's like almost annoying, but no, that's not a best friend. Blaming me for everything that happens wrong in his life just because like I'm kind of like, I'm kind of there, you know, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me, so yeah. And plus like Matt, Matt dove into me too about that too. And I just said like, look, you know, I respect the fact that you live in a room, and I'm not making fun of you and your living situation, so you shouldn't make fun of mine, you know? Oh, that's right, you just the shared accommodation living. Yeah, like, Matt in my class, and this is fine, but he lives in a room, and it's connected to, like, you know, like, he has a kitchen and a external bathroom or whatever. Yeah, he kind of lives in a hostel, and I never made fun of him for that, ever. And, like, he always says I'm, like, I'm condescending, and I'm like, I never said like one rude thing about it though. Once, I swear to God, you know, it doesn't make any sense. To it's me. weird that you said it because I wouldn't put your mask. Seems like high such high Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like me and Matt should switch places because I can live in a place like that and I would be. Matt, oh you know. God, I don't know. Like I said, when I'm traveling though. No. No, but like until then, like I'm good. I'm good. Like, you know, I think when people, I think when people meet me, they instantly think like. Cold, stuck up, don't want to associate myself with you. Like, get away from me. But really, it's like the complete opposite. It really is. Like, I don't make fun of people for the living situation, you know? I'm thinking maybe because, like, Mackenzie and Lindsay live in, like, a small apartment. I think, like, that's where they get some of their anger from. And I think Matt living in a room probably could, like, do the trick as well. Just because I don't see anything else. Like, I don't know. Their life problems are kind of brought upon themselves. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe the living conditions are making them feel uncomfortable. Connor has a luxury apartment, so he's good. Steve has a luxury apartment, so he's good. And Andre has a house. Where did they? We live? still in an apartment, so I didn't... Well, I didn't we had a luxury apartment. Nice. But, yeah, it was nice, but I mean... Yeah, I think... Like, it was big. It was like 1,100 square feet. I lived in a one-bedroom. That wasn't all that big, but it was a lot of But, yeah, I think people that have... I think, like, living in combinations do, like, affect people's behavior. Well, but only... Really yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, I think well, yeah, that... yeah, it's worth the end of the happiness, maybe. And, like, Bree and I are, like, probably the happier people of the class just because, like, we do have different lifestyles than everybody else, you know? Me and Bree can go to Starbucks and get a coffee. We can... When we went to the keg, you know, me and Bree, like, flipped the bill, you know, pretty much, right? Like, and I don't get... I don't know why people get so angry about it. People get enraged, like, you know, Matt was rolling his eyes. Like, when Matt saw me get, like, escargot from Selena and stuff like that, he's just like, oh, you don't need that, like, can't you do that yourself? I just said, Selena's just giving me a gift, like, Selena's buying me this because she wants to buy it. It's not because, like, 
you know, oh, I can do it myself. So he didn't be like, buy me this fucking thing now. You know, and, you know, I actually got Selena to get him a shrimp cocktail to get him a shrimp cocktail so then he would like shut up because I'm like you know what I said Matt's getting jealous again so it's The only reason, you know, like I said, when I say I'm very, very rich, it has nothing to do with money. You know, it is partially true, but it, it doesn't have anything to do with money. It's the fact, like, me and my family, well, no, me and my mom were, like, the f- most frugal person ever. I will never pay full price for anything. That, and, and that's why people have money. I'm the same way. I yeah. save money because I don't go shopping on the weekend unless I need something. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going shopping. I buy this, I buy that. And you I know, know, and like, I I Lindsay was throwing me shade because he's like, you always use a credit card. I'm like... Yes, I don't like carrying, you know, I would love to carry like $500 on me because I could, but I'm not going to because that's just stupid because if someone sees a big bulge of any kind in your pants, they're after you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, like I'm not going to, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to carry money on me. And I said, yes, my nickname, my parents call me Swiper. And they have no problem with me using credit cards all the time. None. And I don't have a problem with it either. Because there's zero wrong with it. It's morons. It's morons that like charge their credit card and then don't pay the balance because they think it's like fun to have a balance. It's like free money or something. Yeah. But um, to me, it's like torch. When I see like even 0.001 on my credit card, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna like, get rid of that penny. Like I gotta murder it because that penny can turn into. God knows what. So yeah, I have no problem with credit card. You know, I said to everybody like, I can just go to Money Mart and get a loan for fun, but I'm not gonna do that. So that's I mean, come on. So yeah, jealousy, jealousy, jealousy galore. Like I even said to Mackenzie, I said when I first like he said when I first met you, like I saw some naive kid and didn't really know where he was going in life. And then you know I was really ballsy because I said to him, when I first met you. I knew you were jealous right from the start. And he's like, jealous of what? I said, jealous of like everything, you know? And I thought you were very bitter and, you know, very lonely. And I said, I would never make fun of you for being um, sensitive in the inside and tough on the outside, never. And I'm here like as a friend for you. But I just had to tell the truth, right? So mm-hmm. I definitely saw a jealous person. Like, I think I'm a very accepting friend too, because, you know, you can turn that jealousy into something positive. You know, maybe he'll work harder to get like part of part of this life, you know? Maybe. I feel like when you criticize somebody, either they grow or they wilt. I was trying to see which way everyone went. Oh. And so far I see a garden of wilted tulips. <laughs> I grow. Well Jeff was like that. It made things like that, yeah. Oh Jake can make all about an hour and a half. He's like, Wow. Really shit? He's like, Yeah, because it's fucking shit. Oh, how can I fix it? Jeff, what can I do? He's like, well, you can tell me what you did. And he's like, oh, well, you did this wrong. Okay. He said, that's what I like about you. I'm like, why? Like, well, number one, we're fucked now. But I can tell you it's shit. And you say, how can I fix it? He's like, that's all I want to hear. Yeah, so now, we're going to do something different. And this is how you fix it. And I'm going to ask for it again next week. So, he'll be right. And like, yep. And then it was always right. But he would always say, like, that's what I loved about you, is to tell you, brutally honest, that that's the worst thing I've ever seen, and then you go and redo it, and it's perfect. Oh my god. That's because you take it the right way. I love, love, love Lindsay in my class, the chef de parte. He knows my style of correction. You know, when he wanted more corn plate, he's like, more corn, instead of saying, you know, you gotta fix this, blah, 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 blah. Like, I, it's just like, I'm really bad with rants, because, like, I just, forget it everything right so you know if people want to correct me all they have to do is say exactly what they want quickly i get it and then it's fixed 
I hated how like Duncan every time has to go on some big rant about stuff and just said, I know, like just Does that look like even you know. quantities? Yeah, exactly. Let me weigh the plate down. Okay. It's like this is for middle schoolers, so let's just calm down, please. You know. Yeah, middle school. It's like you I'm guys like should make pizzas. Oh, I know. When I heard that, I was like, "Yes, yes." Okay. There you go. Because you made pizza, and you eat the dessert, and you finally eat it because they don't eat the food. Thing. You just sit there and do that. Why do you do functions for middle schoolers? Because they pay. Um, I think it's a community-funded college, so the government pays for everything, right? The government gives Duncan money for one, and he might actually profit. No, he doesn't. Never mind. So they, they give the school money and then like we give back a function for all the middle schools because the government thinks it's a good idea that we do a function for them. Personally, I just think that they should tour the school and like keep us out of it. They, we shouldn't have to do a function. We should just say, hi, how you doing? And make them, you know, we can make them danishes and cookies. I don't see why we have to do a plated nerve wrecking function where we have to wash all of these dishes. And the kids don't know how to use the fork, how to sit, and he sits there and tells them how to use the fork. Where do you see them? Nine times out of ten, it's like fried chicken and um, corn and uh, potatoes. That's what it's been the last, it's like, eat. eight times. Yeah, I agree. It's stuff that they eat. And for dessert, it's blueberry mousse. Yeah. But, um, it's just that That's it's really... That's the blueberry chocolate mousse. Bottom. Every time, though. No. Every goddamn time. Yeah, exactly. And they don't eat the blueberry. Well, they never eat the corn, it. and half of them don't eat the dessert. So they play with the dessert, they mash at the corn, and you get the flakes back, and they're all mashed. When I was like in middle school, I loved cheesecake. If they gave all the students cheesecakes, they'd probably be inspired to come to the school for mom cookie. And is cheesecake easy to make? You bet your bottom dollar it is. But it doesn't matter because it's all about, it's about inspiring people. So. Cheesecake would be perfect for them, and everybody would eat it in one second. You know, uh, someone really liked the mousse, and he said, can I have more? Duncan wasn't around, ran into the kitchen, came back out, and Duncan, thanks to me, could have another student. Because he said, I'll never forget, you know, you give me the second dessert, thank you. And for a kid to be that articulate to say that, a great sixer, I think he meant it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's probably the only thing that's ever asked. Exactly. You ask, you receive. So. And it's so funny though, like, oh, we have so many desserts, but they always stick to the same, like, ten. I felt bad. One time there was a vegetarian kid, and he was like, he was like, oh, I'm a vegetarian, can I have vegetarian? I said, yes. Like, I said, like, if you don't, like, you know, you don't have to shake, like, it's okay. Like, I respect that you want to eat vegetarian, but, like, what, you know, why are you a vegetarian? What made you do that? And he just said, like, I don't, I don't want animals to die. And I said, you know what? I don't, I don't like animals to die either. So, don't feel bad about it. Like, it's not embarrassing to be a vegetarian and be young. So, like, I wanted to be a vegetarian just because, like, I see how animals get processed. But it's just that meat is everywhere, right? So, like, a kid shouldn't be ashamed or embarrassed to be a vegetarian. There's nothing wrong with it. So, I admire his strength, actually, because I can't even do that. No, sure. So. I feel like today you feel like the prosecutor and that you need to be, you get to portray that pretty perfect. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, exactly. I feel, just like in my class, I feel like I have to be perfect. Like, that's why I don't, that's why I always say to everybody every day, I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I don't curse. Only because I feel like if I sip an alcohol, everyone's like, oh my God, damn it, me a job. And if I say, like, you know, I did weed before, everyone thinks it's a drug addict. And if I swear, everyone thinks I'm a sailor. Like, it makes no sense. Yet everybody else talks about what they did over the weekend. And it is not pretty. Mm-hmm. And Ooh. I'm, you know... Because everyone else is about the alcoholic drunks and perfect sailors. I call them droner, droners, you know, drunken stones. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And I wish that the drugs were just weed, but it's not, like... Oh, there's some interesting things. Yeah, I was, I was actually just about to get up. Yeah, I was just about to get that. Thank, thank you. Um, that is, that is, that isn't that interesting? Yeah. Now we know why. I know. We can certainly buy a And, and I'm just going to like rub this in all the haters' faces. Uh, Starbucks. So, Starbucks. 
I'm going to rub it in all the haters' faces, but Starbucks coffee, not Tim Hortons small coffee, but Starbucks, Vente, triple latte, so, and I'm happy about it, so you know what, that's why I said, that's why I said straight to the devil's face, I said, you were jealous of me when you first, you were jealous about everything about me when you first met me, it's because I know how to spend money and I know how to save money, you know, that's why I said in my head, like, he doesn't, and no one else does, but yeah, they have all of this money for weed and stuff like that, like, you know, every time there's a holiday, I know, every time there's a holiday, me and Bree will go, like, shopping for gifts for each other, and, like, the whole class, and you know what, everybody else, everyone's, like, so grateful to get the gifts, and then after a day, they forget it because they've been drinking or smoking something, and it's just so sad, like, you know, I understand that you feel bad about your situation, you know, like, this is when it gets back to living combinations, like, you know, people are supposed to be in certain places in their life and stuff, and living in certain places, and I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't know if it affects a lot, but I feel like I'm the only one that's high maintenance in the class, other than Matt and Bree. Hello, <laughs> well, we talked about that, because yeah. when we lived in the apartment, like, you know, everyone having babies, and you feel like an adult, and it was kind of funny, I'm like, no, not really. There's a lot of adults living in the apartment. But, yeah. It was the thing, though, but you, everyone this, everyone that, and it's like, well, we're not doing that. Well, mm-hmm. we didn't have career jobs. Weird. Yeah. And I think, um, it's just, yeah, it's just funny to me. Everyone said, oh, I'm sorry, I can't get gifts. I'm like, it's okay. But I said, like, how are you doing? And they said, oh, I'm having withdrawals. And I'm like, oh, that's why I can't give you a gift. Like, you know, I don't need, I don't need, like, a gift or whatever. And I don't think less of them because they didn't buy me a present or whatever. But I'm just thinking to myself, how much are they thinking of me over the holidays? Because I thought about them a lot. Like, I wish them and their family all the best during Christmas. You know, I really did. Like, I missed half my class and the other half, eh, not so much. But yeah, I really wanted them, you know, I wanted them to have good health and good fortune, you know? But when they talk about with me for the holidays, they're just like, they're like, oh, what did you get for gifts? Like, I bet you got like a shit in this I'm like, hey, excuse me? Like, that's so, that's so rude. Like, that's I just... That's something a five-year-old or a ten-year-old says. Which I know. did you get? Like, I just said to Lindsay, like, how are your parents doing? And then that's when, like, Matt and Connor typed up and said that. Like, ignorant comment. I'm like, are you kidding me? So, you mm-hmm. know? I wasn't even talking about that. I was trying to talk about, like... Because uh, his mom fell on a treadmill, right? So I was asking how she was doing. You know, I was genuinely concerned. But, you know, I guess all they want to talk about is, like, my... Um, my so-called shopping spree ahead of her Christmas. I don't remember having one, though. I actually, I actually got this for Christmas because I didn't want anything for Christmas, to be honest with you. I said I wanted a new PC, but I'm willing to wait for it, you know? I'm willing to act well and earn my PC and not just get it because, oh, it's Christmas, you know? It's just so stupid. Yeah, I find holidays, like, we've been, we've kind of downtrodden the last few years, too, because there's really not that much that we need Yeah, like, I feel that too, you know? I have, you know, I actually counted last night, but unfortunately I have, like, a 300-thread count, um... I have 300-thread count sheets, one comforter, not two, one wool blanket still, um... Seven pillows. And seven pillows and two designer pillows, meaning, like, pillows that you just have to look, and one body pillow, and not ten. When I tell people about the bed situation, again, I think it's funny, but everyone flares up. I'm like... Why are they so concerned about how many pillows I have? Like, seriously? Like, I was like, wow, that's a lot of pillows. I know, like, Jason thought it was funny. Jason got the joke because, you know, I have a... I, like, I feel like I have no sense of humor, but everyone thinks I'm hilarious, right? So, like... People don't think you're funny, I don't understand. No, oh, no, like, no, I don't think I'm funny. But everybody is just, like, in stitches all the time. Well, you're Cause, like, Because, like, I'm walking around doing the Zoolander look, right? With my hands on my hips, like, making fun of how models look. But that's just how I look, like, on a day-to-day basis. So they're just laughing at that in the first place. And then I'm, like, I'm going around saying, I'm very, very rich. And they're, like, what the... Like, they don't even know how to handle it. So, you know, everyone's like, just thinks I'm absolutely hilarious. I think the only reason I didn't get kicked out of the course for like some stupid reason, I'm sure that's someone else's fault. It's just because like I just make people, you know, I'm like the personality of the class, like you know, like you know, I love it. <laughs> um, sure. It'll be interesting to come back to you guys to see. I know. How see how people have changed. 
Mackenzie, noisy man. Mr. Noisy. I broke him. I know. I can't believe he's letting this little girl break him, you know? Tamara, Tamara is not a prize. My ex, Victoria, was pointed at you, by the way. <laughs> but I know a lot of people... I know a lot of people. This wine's a prize. Like, I know a lot of people and things that are prizes. But Tamara, I'm sorry, but, you know, she she is pretty, and she is nice, and she means well to herself. And I respect... I like somebody that has, you know, that gets what they want. But the way that she does it, and, like, her character and demeanor is just awful. You know? And I see straight through it. So, yeah. I can't believe that Mackenzie... Let somebody like that break him. Are they and together or is he just talking? No. They're not together at all. Not at all. Good question though, but no. She did what every, well, okay. She did the one thing she needed to do to get somebody hooked. She gave it up one time. And he just fighting to get that mouth. It's just always constantly, constantly there. Yeah. Be like, and no. Yeah, Mackenzie's a cat and Tamara's a mouse. Yep. Tamara just poked her cute little Cindy Lou who knows out and, you know, now he's like hooked beyond belief. Yeah. You know. She treats him bad like on the bus and stuff, ignored him and he just sat there and listened to the music and she came out to like, yeah, Mackenzie and he's like, oh, hey. And Tamara was like rude to Mackenzie like the whole time. Like Tamara even said, I was like up Mackenzie's ass like all day today. And I was like, oh my God, like. And when I tried to hang out with, like, Tamara and Mackenzie for, like, five minutes at the... Whatever it was, they were just, like... No, they would just, like, keep on walking like children. I'm like, whatever. I said, I want to hang out with Jason anyway, so screw you guys, so... And I even said that, like, loud enough that they could hear it when they were walking away. And then they didn't react because they're in their whole fictional world, so... It, it is, like, a... It's a... It's a badly acted soap opera. It really is, like... Because, you know, I went from, you know, Mr. Sweet and Innocent to now, like, Matt's threatening to hit me, Mackenzie hates me, Tamara snaps at me now, uh, me and Lindsay are good buddies, though. I like that. And Steve and Bree care about me, and Andre, my little strawberry in my class, he's just, he's just funny. So, and I'm neutral with Connor. So, yeah, um, I think everything went for the best, actually. I thought I was going to feel bad about the Mackenzie situation a lot more. And it does feel like a breakup, you know, losing your best friend. But at the same time, you know, I have to stay strong and, you know, I don't have to move on. I think I just have to move forward and, like, keep him in the picture, but, like, in the little corner of the picture. You know, I kind of just went, whoop. But like I said, he's just so loud. Like, I'm just trying to get him away from me, but it's like he won't go away. Like, I said, I said in the bus, like, Mr. Noise was listening to music. I said to Jason, you and your wig... Get out of my life. And like, <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Oh, man. Sometimes it can be good to break up with friends. I know. And that's, you know what? It, it feels like a breakup, you know? This is the first friend I broke up with. Everyone else, you know, I got rid of. This this is a breakup, you know? it's I know it's weird, but that's exactly what it is. You know, we were like, um, although me and Jason are better friends, though, and we were only, like, when we became best friends, like, was it? I, it was. It was yesterday. Yeah, it was just yesterday. We were like Ebony and Ivory, and like the Men in Black, Two Peas in a Pod. Uh, we we're like the two Stooges that killed the third person, and then I said we we're like the white male version of Destiny's Child, and then we killed Beyonce. Like you know, like we're the Powerpuff Boys, and we killed the third member again. Like you know, like just everything. And Anja was like in stitches all day because of it. Like. Anza, again, she thinks I'm absolutely hilarious. And, you know, I always say to myself, like, I don't have a sense of humor. I don't want people to think it's funny. But everybody just is like, goes on and on and on. And I was like, oh my God, like, Anza and Savannah are like my biggest fans. Like, they're my cheerleaders. And Riley's a big fan too. I always ask people, like, who's your favorite? And, you know, Andre in your class, Andre in your class said, you have got, you guys are all my favorites. I'm like, Andre, gross spine. I was like, Andre, gross spine. And then he said, oh, I like Ryan. I'm like, I said, like, you can even, like, Matt or Mackenzie over me, but, like, don't, like, Ryan over me, like, oh, my God. He's like, 
Oh yeah, what? Um, I'm just, it's like Ryan pat me on the back every time I see him. He's like, how many times did Ryan pat you on the back? He's like 25 times, and I'm just like, now am I a better friend because I'm gonna pat you on the back 26 times? You're welcome. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I, I can see why Anja didn't text me because, like, uh, you know, she's probably like. <laughs> and I can see why she only wanted to text her then because, you know, I I love 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 Anja and Savan's relationship, just because it's kind of like my relationship, like. We argue the whole time and we seem like we hate each other, but we're like madly in love. Like, that's what I see in them. And I, I love it, you know, because they're just like, you know, Wah. but it's not like sad and emotional and stuff. It's like, again, it's like plastic, you know, like, I think it's just like so over the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are like that. Yeah, they're exactly like that. It's exactly it. I really wish we had more like classroom tests because I'm so wrong with that. Like, I'm such a nerd. Whenever they give us homework, I love to do it. It's weird. I'm, like, programmed to do it, too. I did Bree's homework a few times, too. Like, with her. Like, not for her. With her. You know? I wish the school was theory every day for an hour or so. And you went down to the kitchen and did the work that you just learned. Oh, no. And then you did more, and then you do that every day. Well, I was saying to, like, Alicia when you did the drinks, like, I just want to learn a new recipe every day. I do not want to do the same that well, much. When I get into the industry, I'll do the same all day. Send me my paycheck every two weeks. Thank you. But until that happens, I want to learn something new every day. Sorry. That's the thing. And there's always struggles left behind. Like, I remember, like, well, I didn't get to do any of the sauces. I didn't get to do any of the soups. Well, I'm like, well, you let everyone else do it. They're like, well, you have it as a delta. There's no experience. I, I, I've never made these. I tried to fight to make a continent. I don't know how to make it to make one. Consume. Just so I can make a bath. Like, I just wish we would do a bigger variety thing. I think, like, some of my highlights, though, were, um... You know, it's funny how you bring up the fact that, like, Flow doesn't have like the visual appeal and Connor is like too fat and stuff like that. We, um, when we did grilled cheese sandwiches at the Coliseum, uh, October 28th, um, when the guy was taking pictures, everyone was just like this. And everyone literally went up to me and went like, and like, I love the camera. Oh my god. I want to be the face. I don't want to. I don't. I just don't want to be the face of like NBCC calling it its management class. I want to be the face of NBCC. So when I get the opportunity to shoot for the website, I was like all over it. And uh, Chef Evan was doing an, you know, he was trying to submit something to Sabuto Cheese. I think this is in like December. Again, I was just like, like, like every time he took a picture, I, get, I just jump in there. And again, everyone was like this for some reason. Like, I get it. Like, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't be complaining though, because I'm just like, I want to be the face of Sabuto Cheese. So I was like, Chef Evan, take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. And um, and he did. Nope. And for a first function, they wanted someone that had international appeal to serve, and they wanted, you know, them to do a good job. And it was it was non unanimous, but everyone took a vote. Matt voted for me, Lindsay voted for me, Connor voted for me, Steve voted for Bray, Bree voted for me, uh, Mackenzie voted for me, Andre voted for me. Ryan wasn't there, so he didn't have to vote. So it was a non oh and I voted for Bree. Because you couldn't vote for yourself, so me and Bree were the first two servers, and Duncan nailed us into the coffin. But everybody loved me being their server, though. No one had a problem with my service, though. So. None. Every and I said to everyone, "Did you like the food?" And they all loved it because I served it to them. I said, "I'm the favorite." <laughs> oh, I got I think you did too. Like we get to meet the queen of NBCC, Valerie. She was amazing. I said to Valerie like three times. I said. You know, my name is Sam Mark Arsenal, and they're calling us fans in the chorus, and I'm just like, I'm just such a huge fan of you. When you were in that video, you touched my heart, you know. I don't think she'll ever forgive me because she never got that. And I, she was wearing a heart necklace, right? 
like hard Leotion kind of thing, I said, you wear my heart, so take care of it. So like, oh my god, it was amazing. And all my classmates were like rolling their eyes and I'm just like, okay, look, some people kiss butt, but I always speak the truth. So, and she came back and again, I said, you're so awesome. And then she's like, you're too. And I'm like, I know. So, that was like, I love it. Like, those are definitely the highlights. Like, that keeps me alive, you know. When I inspire people or get inspired, I'm just like, you know, for life. I feel like I have a graphics art degree and a business degree. I think I can do like business, not graphics art, because we know what happened at that school. But, you know, it kind of makes me want to go back in business and make a lot of moolah there. It's like, meeting Valerie, oh my god, she's like such an inspiration. She's an amazing, pure person. And talking to Mary Lynn, you know, the administrator, she's amazing too. So, like all these good people, you know, they're like, Mary Lynn, she's always like, somehow smiling all the time, even when Duncan's freaking out, like, do 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 But my mother uh, hates her, actually, because really? she said, she said, like, when she first met me, she's like, copying everything. That's where I get, like, I hate people that copy me. When we did the practicals, um, we had to make uh, rolls as well, as you know. Um, I gave Mackenzie the conversion, and he was, like, so grateful. He was, like, or whatever, because like everyone else sucks at math, even though you take the ingredients and divide it by two. And no one could do that. So I wrote it up for him, and he was like, he was crying almost. I, I do, but I'm the only one in my class divided by two. Everyone else had these weird. Yeah, it was. You guys do what you want. No, but else they can't. You can't divide by two. People can't. No. Oh, yeah. And he wouldn't believe it. Lindsay, Connor, Bree, and Stephen copied. Mackenzie's conversions, which were my conversions. That's like grade two math. And that's like grade kindergarten behavior, you know, them copying me like that, like seriously? Yeah, it's grade two math that people can't do. And that was five row behavior, I'm sorry. Like, that was so stupid. Like, how dare all those people copy conversions for one person they did it for? That was supposed to be for Mackenzie. But everybody else, you know, it's just like, Oh, you have the conversions? Let me have them, let me have them, let me have them. And since she's such a pushover, you let them have it. I would have said, no, my friend did this for me. You're not having it. Not... That's the product of the new math. Yeah. Can you want to go shopping? I only buy stuff that's divided by two. So, I know how to divide by two. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe it. It's like so, like really, how immature are we today, you know? So Me, weird. Andre, and Matt are the only three people that didn't, that were original. In fact, I also converted um, the Pi practical from Mackenzie because, you know, I'm a true friend. It's a one-sided friendship, clearly, since the get-go, but I was too stupid, blind to see it. I mean, not stupid, because I'm not stupid, but blind... I think I need new glasses for sure. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, again, Lindsay, Connor, Steve, and Bree all copied. I'm like, are you serious? They copied, they copied my conversion for the pie and the rolls. That pissed me off for the How thing. immature. They're making like golden rolls and like uh, bread rolls and stuff that no one knew, and then they were all watching everybody else and stuff. I don't like to use No, no. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm making, I said, I'm making a roll. What are you doing? You can't do that. I'm like, it's two ounces of dough, but I can make it a cock and serve it to them. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what kind of mark that would have got you. And they all started <laughs> doing these little things. I figured it out. You do this, you do this. Make little brioches. That's what they couldn't do with the brioche. Can they all copy you? Yep. Yeah. So you see what I mean? The original to... Nope. But I think your teachers know... I don't know. Well, what they do in my class is they're like, Oh my god, Matt, you're so smart, like you inspire everybody. I'm like, Matt didn't give everyone the conversions, though. Like, I did. So... Everyone that copied me actually did get marks deducted. 10% for the rolls. Um, total overall for the practical, 10% for the pies. Everyone lost 20% because of they copied. How did they have the school find out what they copied? There was a rat. <laughs> I was just, 
I was well. I was beyond well, pissed. Well. I was like so offended. You know, Mackenzie didn't lose the marks though, but um, they did because they copied, you know, my conversions. Right? Like I said, don't dock him. But now looking back, he should have got docked because like, you know, he's mooching knowledge off of me. Right? So, and I kind of just. Body never by two. And you know what's really annoying? Like we had to cut Julianne's batonets and stuff like that. Like that and no, you don't want to do those. That everyone copied me at school. Well, how's it right? I'm like, well, I'm doing it based off the size of the biggest cut I had. I'm like, I know how big they're supposed to be, but this is just in retrospect to the size of, that I have. And these follow suit. And Bree said, like, oh my god, like, can I have some of those? I'm like, sure, whatever. Like, I'm, see what I mean? I'm too good of a friend. I need to, like, be a crap. For me to be like a good friend, maybe I should start being a crap friend because like I, you know, I let Bree have my stuff, which is like cut perfectly, mm -hmm. and then I had to recut it and it wasn't good. So I'm like crap. So I did Bree's, basically did all Bree's work, you know. And like sometimes I get in these embarrassing rants, like you know, like Chef Evans, like what's your problem? And I just said like I feel like I'm like the only creative person here, you know, like it was, it was really sad, like when we did the practical for like the three course meal, I felt like after I marinated my stuff in anything, everyone else like started the marinade stuff, when I put spices in the marinade, everyone else was like shaking spices, like are you fucking kidding me, like this is ridiculous, like I marinated my scallops because I think that's what you should do, you know, because scallops, they're yummy but they're boring, so yeah, then people started marinating the random crap, I'm like are you, mm. Like, the only people that didn't copy me for that part was probably Lindsay and Connor because they weren't there, and Matt didn't either. The love triangle, I called them, they weren't there, so they didn't copy. But, like, everybody else did, including Andre. I'm like, Andre, you know, like, I said to Andre, you know better not to copy me. Like, I hate copycats. Like, every day I talk about people copying me. And they should respect the fact that I haven't talked about copycats for, like, a whole two weeks. <laughs> When really, when I was at home, I was like complaining, but like everyone's copying me again. Like, well, it's annoying. Man, one day when I got to school, I purposely wore like a bright red shirt and like my khakis, and Matt came in with the same outfit and a black shirt underneath. I'm like, are you kidding me? And oh I my just, god! Like Matt, now they're starting to copy the way I dress. Like seriously? Must be really like you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, they know it, they know there's a crap in me. I actually made Matt change. I said, you work out after school every day. You're going to go up to the locker room, and you're going to change your clothes. And he said, what happens if you're copying me? I said, unlike you, I was up at 2 o'clock in the morning to do my homework. So you copied me, so you're going to go upstairs and change. And then he went upstairs and changed into his Adidas and sweatpants. And I was like, thank you. Because, I mean, seriously? And, like, people are going to start copying my outfits, too. One day I said, like, Tomorrow I'm going to shave my head, and I'm going to dye my eyebrows blonde. The next day, no one did that. I was like, ah. Oh. I was like. <laughs> that would have been, that would have been so funny. Me and Lindsay's days pretty much consist of talking about Big Brother Canada now. Like, oh, God. Oh, is there any Big Brother on right now? There is a, yeah, but there's Big Brother Canada, and, like, they have slop to deal with, and, like, you wouldn't believe it. Before two contestants got kicked off, they were part of the first five alliance. They were like really, they were bullies, you know? Um, literally, the sloppy second alliance, which is a funny name, they got rid of all the condiments for the slop. You know, no sugar, no cinnamon, no ketchup for slop. Like, you couldn't do anything with it. I was like, oh. And like, I was just laughing and laughing and laughing. I know. Well, if you saw what the first five alliance did, you'd be like, oh, that's just. But it is. If you don't know, like, the first five lines, it is me, but after you know, like, the bullies that they are, oh, yes, sweet revenge. <laughs> Big Brother. Big Brother's entertaining. Big Brother's beyond entertaining. Mm -hmm. Like, I was, I was feeling down a few weeks ago, and then I was watching Big Brother for five whole minutes, and everyone's just like, 
so happy and stuff like that. And then after five minutes, everyone's like backstabbing each other. It's like hilarious. I, was, I felt better after that. I was like, yay! I was like, yay, people have life problems. Yeah, like one time when we were at a family reunion, like everybody was like bickering and fighting with each other, and I literally just like fake slept on the couch for the whole time for the like, three hours, like, and everyone like every few minutes they're like, is he actually sleeping? And they're like, just leave him alone, like. Just I avoided like a big silver bullet because I was just like, I was bored like when people just like, yeah, it's not from being a no, it's, it's like, it's family stuff, so it's like really awkward and stuff like that, so I'm just like, I just have time for it, you know, like. Where I work too, I work with all women, there's a lot of like stocks and Yeah, when people, like, when people start talking about each other, like, I walk on eggshells with them. Like, Lindsay asked me, like, was Matt drunk yesterday? And Matt threatened me last week, so obviously not going to be like, yes, Matt was shit-faced. No. So, I just said, oh, no, Matt looked very radiant, actually. Matt had glowing skin, and he did, too. Matt, yesterday, looked probably the best. He really did. The best he ever looked. But, um, <laughs> he was definitely hammered. But was I going to say that to his best friend? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, 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 no. I let Lindsay say it. Lindsay said, well, actually, he was shit faced in the back of the bus. I was like, okay. Well, I, yeah. I did not say anything. I did not say, he was trying to... Like, even though he... I saw like, Matt walking out with a brown bag. I'm like, oh, he could be a little more screwed. Yeah, exactly. And then, with a brown bag. Yep. Yeah, Matt actually bought, like, some rum at the expo. I'm like... And then drank it. And then drank it all in the back. And then first they smelled wine, Jacqueline had a big bottle of Gatorade. Jacqueline had 710 milliliters of wine before she got to the expo. Yeah. So at 7.30 in the morning, she started drinking. Why? Like I said, beautiful girl, even you would probably fancy her. She's pretty. But, um, you know, you know, I know, probably don't like prefer ladies, but even you'd be like, wow, she's attractive. But, the second she opens her mouth, uh, breaking nice bad. Nobody home. Yeah, exactly. Let's run, but there ain't no one home in there, so. Yeah. Vile. Like foreclosure. <laughs> yeah, foreclosure. She's a foreclosure home. Very pretty and giant, you know, beautiful house, but yikes. She's the one that's taking it to be a good house, right? Oh, Al Alicia's gonna love this comment, but like, when, when Flo was hanging out with Jason, I was just like this, like, I was like so sad because it's just like, you know, I don't hate Flo. Flo's a nice girl. I have her texting number. I went to her birthday, actually, and I took her at the Goji's. Like, you know, I have some respect for Flo, but it's just that it was me and Jason's day. You know, Whoa. it wasn't it wasn't the Flo and Jason and Sammy show. It was this the Jason. This is the thing. same girl who hasn't been in school for one, one week and one day. Yeah. Comes to school on Monday. Was she there today? No. No. And she was like with Jason for too long. And At least you understand. Graduate. You know that's the saddest thing, Sammy. He's not gonna let her graduate. No, shouldn't. Well, because she went yesterday. Might get some wine out of the whole deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, my heart was like, my heart was like, <clears throat> like breaking really quickly. Well, my too. heart was breaking because I was like, where's Sammy? Why do I have? Oh, Flo? yeah. Like when Flo was with you, I thought to myself, oh well, Flo is just gonna talk over me, which she was. So I got away from it for a minute. Then that's when I found Mackenzie, well, Mr. Noisy and Hormone Maker. And they basically, Mackenzie accused me of being an alcoholic. And I said, okay, this is coming from the person I passed out every night, but thanks for the compliment, not. And, um, you know, he was like trying these beers. I said, he can't handle that beer, it's too strong. So, and it's true, he can't, like, he's such a sissy. So, like, oh my God, you know? I just want to give him a tutu. So, and of course, he took offense to that. I'm like, you, really, all of a sudden you take offense to that? Yet I called you. You know, I called you like Baldy McBald Bald. I said, I called him all this to his face, by the way. Silicon Valley, overgrown pubes, 
Sasquatch legs, um, liver mm-hmm. spot, liver spot, um, liver spot, uh, lagoon. <laughs> um, spot. Holy moly man, because he has a bunch of moles everywhere. Um, you know, uh, let's see, bird nose, bird brain. Um, I said you're, you're lucky because it looks like a bird pooped in your head. Like, I said all this stuff, and he gets offended when I called him a sissy. Like, really? I'm certainly going to be good enough now to, like, guess you can go, Ka-ka! <laughs> Yeah, no. Like, he's definitely, like, a bird brain and, like, a numbskull. And I said, I said to him, like, you're the older brother I never wanted and never had. And after hanging out with you, I still don't want an older brother. But you're funny. And then he gets offended by that. I'm like, seriously? And then he calls me a drunk? No. <laughs> yeah. The way he was on Friday, he was like, you know, did I have four tequila shots? Thanks, Selena. Thank you, Mama. But you know what? Only God can judge me. And, um, and did Selena buy me a margarita? Oh, yes. Did Brie buy me a Caesar? And um, a mojito? Oh, yes. Oh, mojito. Was I drunk? No, not at all. Was I hyper? Yes. Did I own it? Oh, yeah, baby. And I had a good time, so. But where was I? So, yeah, when I was away from, when I was away from you, trust me, it was, like, the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with, like, throughout the whole school year. I'm not even joking. Like, the whole Mackenzie situation is nothing compared to that. Like, I'm just, like. Where's Jason? And then you're like, where's Jason? Because it's just that flow got between us. And I was like, <sighs> I, to be honest with you, I never had like murder thoughts. But I said, I hope Flo has a heart attack on me. Because like, get away from Jason. Yeah. She's gonna open up the bakery. That's what you do after taking the hundred foot. Oh yeah, open up the bakery all of a sudden. What does the fox say? Right. Not bad. Ring, ding, 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 ding. God, I really have no regrets about yesterday. You know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I was happy. I said Mackenzie his big nose was being being a little emo, and I don't regret saying that he was like so cute. If you get down on me, I'll get down. Like I have zero regrets. You know, I talked to my black friend about it. I talked to my friend that you know Victoria's other boyfriend, other than me, which is funny. And uh, they said, you know what? Don't live, don't live life with regrets because your behavior yesterday is not a reflection of you. Your behavior is a reflection of everyone else's bullshit. And I'm like, thank you. I agree completely. I loved it. That's why yesterday I said it was the best last worst day. You, Anja, and Sylvan, like, you know what? I feel like I thought to myself, I'm tr- I, you know, I don't trust anyone anymore. But actually, I haven't trusted more people since. I really, you know, I really do. I was just like, you know what, if you throw trust out there, like, someone's going to throw it back. So. Well, exactly. Yeah. Not be like, oh, God. Yeah. You know, I could have sat beside Andre, and I could have, like, maybe I could have hung out with Andre, Brad, and Josh, but I would, you know, ugh, not my crowd. Yeah, I still would have hung out, but they, I, I couldn't even hang out. I knew what they were up to. Yeah. Well, I knew if I stayed beside Andre, I would have had an okay day, but I wanted to have a great day. So I thought to myself, you know what? You know what? I'm going to trust that kid over there because if he can handle Mackenzie, he can certainly handle me. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm a little puppy. Oh, it's your bedtime. Yeah, I usually crash at like 11. You better, you better go to the uh, crib then. <laughs> oh, that's just that. Oh, you know, I'm so happy about tomorrow, maybe, like, right now, but tomorrow, I get to be off for tomorrow's a new day. Almost a week. But then you have to do your cake crack. I know. Well, I, and you know what? The next day, I don't have to do it. It's being moved, which is the main road. Yep. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely switch all my advertisements. I am not doing the advertisement with that. No. Uh, I don't care what to do. They're not gonna make me do it. Because do you need something this one? Oh, you know what Bree said. Bree's like, bullshit. You were I said, Bree, I can do whatever I want because at the end of the day, if I do something more complicated, ain't no one gonna complain. Like, Bree doesn't get it. I don't care what people think. 
Remember what my criteria. If you don't play video games with me, sounds silly. If you don't talk to me outside of school, and you don't text me, I don't care what you think. Well, you're all, well, you're right, why waste your time? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, if when Matt threatened me, Matt doesn't talk to me, or text me, or play games with me. I don't threaten me all day if you want to. Like, as in just punch me. I will sue him so bad. Hey, bitch, what did you do? I was actually... Uh, I was actually praying to punch me, I really do, like, even my parents said, I wish he punched you, and I'm like, I know, he would have been kicked out, like, yeah. oh my god. What's the thing, right, to get a call to block and be like, go ahead, hit me. Why? Because you're going down. <laughs> and I'm yelling, I'm yelling, Timber. <laughs> oh my god, I just love it. I'm there to get a message from a friend, like, and that's it. Well, I mean, like Alicia was saying, you know, step away from a career job to something that you're passionate about, like, it's a, it is hard to swallow, but you, you live with it, and you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna do this, and you have complete control over it, because you can do whatever you want. You can do like Tamara, and work at Dairy Queen, or you can... Oh, is that what she does? Well, she just got a job there, and then she's going to do her... Okay, so she gets a job at Dairy Queen. I know. And she's <laughs> going to do her OJT at Little Louie's, which she fought so hard to get. I know. I'm like, What's and I'm like, okay, so you're going to leave your paying job to go work for free for four weeks. That's and so stupid. Man. Duncan, that was one thing. He's like, uh, your OJT, I, he's like... Don't you work at the university? And I said, Yeah. He said, So, and I'm like, Well, either you accept that, or we would go discuss with Marilyn, because I'm like, We're gonna have to go talk to somebody else, because this is something that I can't, I can't bend. I'm like, I, you know, There's a mortgage. I'm like, You know that saying, Can't pay the mortgage. Well, it's not just a saying now. I, I gotta pay it. And I'm like, I. Sucks. I suffer coming to school and working. And yes. I feel like, like no one listens, you know? Listens we weren't even friends at the time, like, but I listened since day one. And I knew that, you know, you just needed, like, you just needed a freaking lamppost to talk to. And I was a lamppost, you know? Like, oh, you want a lamppost, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, you needed, like, something, even a wall to talk to, God, but, like, no one would give you the time of day, I thought it was, like, so inconsiderate, like, you know, regardless if you're having a kid or not, like, you actually work and go to school, people should respect that, you know, you're not doing what tomorrow is working at fucking DQ, randomly, you know, like, you and I was like, okay. and I thought to myself, okay, you know, I said to my mom, maybe Mackenzie might be my best friend again, and stop being such a dick. But, um, no, I'm pretty sure he probably visits tomorrow at work all the time and they talk about, like, bullshit. Like, yeah, yeah. I just want to grab their phone and see what they talk about because, honestly, they, both of them don't have a creative bone in their body. Like, that's why I said to, in front of my whole class to Evan, I said, like, I'm going to create a 
here. Everyone else work abuses it, and I think if you base paint, oh yeah, the only fact that you base paint and keep it moving. I said this is a business first, and it has nothing to do with personal, you know, affairs. This is all business, and you know, I want to work. I want to get out of here. Sorry. So I get yeah. See what I mean? I get really heated and stuff. Like, oh well, yeah, but you you're absolutely right though. This is a business first, and. You know, the people like, you know, get creative, do the, yeah, but you're yeah. absolutely right. It's a business first. If you're not making money, you know, it's important. You have to be. I don't want to have a family business, you know? Like, I was so offended when I had, like, H1N1. The doctor said, like, you're going to work. And I said, that's bullshit. I said, like, I work at school constantly, you know, just because I don't make money at the time doesn't mean I don't work. And I said, the last thing I'm thinking about right now is working. I'm thinking about sleeping and getting some good antibiotics. So please diagnose me accordingly. And the doctor finally did it. And you know, mom was just like jaw dropping. I said, Mom, you're catching flies. Like, yeah. If someone's gonna be an ass, you're gonna be an ass right back. And I need to smell a lot nastier. <laughs> so it's just like, come yeah. on, how rude are we? Like, you know, he's old school and he believes in like, oh, hard work, blah, blah, blah. Back in the day, you can work hard like a donkey. And yeah, you get a new career and you get money. But nowadays, it's so competitive, you have to have the personality as well. You have to have the drive and stuff like that. Yep. Like, you know, when I was being candid, um, to me, that was I was being a businessman, you know? Like, because, you know, Mr. Noise was being such a bullshitter. He's just like, I'm not a perv. And tomorrow's like, you know, I don't use the Kenzie. And I was just like, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Like, I just had Tourette's yesterday. And I was like, really happy. Oh, yeah, but it's I left like, Tourette's all the way to the bank. Admit it to yourselves and move on, people. You use him. Mackenzie, you're trying to get up the skirt again, which you're never going to get. Exactly. And There's a reason why he hasn't been laid in nine months, you know? And apparently he did have a girl over, like, a few months ago, obviously before her tomorrow gate. And apparently he poked her vajayjee a few times, and he was, like, done or whatever. He said, oh, like, she's so, like, you know, oh, I'm afraid I might, like, like her again or whatever. And, you know, I was, like, see, I told you once, I'll tell you many times, and I never cried about this, by the way. Like, I, I was such good friends with Mackenzie, and, like, every day, you know, I'd come in my shell more, and I'm, like, such a good friend. And he even said, like, you're my hero, you're, like, you're the best, and stuff like that. Because, you know, I said, all your ex-girlfriends, I'm sorry that, like, stupid to break up with you, because you're amazing. And, like, you know, I said stuff like that all the time, and I meant it, too. But now, I'm just, like, I see what everyone else does. Because everyone hated Mackenzie. Everybody, like, would tell him to go fuck himself. Like, you know, Lindsay, Matt, Connor would, like, always pick him up and, like, call him worthless and, like, get out of my face and stuff. And I was always there when he felt like shit about it. He said, I don't care about it. I know he did. Well, yeah, because the first so, thing, if you admit, like, well, I don't care about what you say. Okay, well, you do he care. He cares the most, actually. He's, like, the most sensitive person ever. But now he won't even accept help from, you know, he won't even talk to me. But oh. ever, 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 ever. So. It's true. You're absolutely right. He asks for help, and then when you give him the help, he gets so offended or just blows it off. You're like, what? Exactly. That's what? why, like, I can't even talk to him. So. But, but, like, today, I forget to get the hell out of this pit gotta do views on plus. I'm like, no, we don't. It's it's our past today. So we want to do a Mackenzie way, my past time. You know, it's just sad. Like, why? Why does my best friend turn? I don't know what I call him now. Freak. I wish he was, you know, quiet and like he wasn't such a big. He didn't have such a big head body. Like, oh my god, you know. Like, why can't the person that I don't get along with, or I don't know what you call us, like the traitor? Um, why can't he be quiet and like tiny? <laughs> he, he just strikes me as someone that, I mean, I know his childhood was rough and stuff like that, but he, even though someone says something that's right, he always has to say, well, you know what, I don't think that's completely true. Because I read somewhere, on Wikipedia, or I don't know where, that this happened. Like, come on, like, no, Mackenzie, just, you know, chill, man. Like, take, take the advice. If it's wrong, you don't have to tell someone, do you know what, fuck you, were really wrong. It's fine, like, if someone, that's fine. You are you can be wrong. If no one was wrong, no one would ever be right, Mackenzie. So you need to have people yeah, that yeah, are wrong. Yeah, seven, seven flow. And, like, I would actually defend, I would actually defend people off, like, off Mackenzie whenever they said he was wrong, too. And Mackenzie said, you don't have to defend me if I'm, like, wrong, Samuel. And I said, well... If not, like, you just keep saying that you're right, so, like, I feel like I have to defend you, and he's like, okay, like, he let me loose on the leash because he knew, like, he knew, like, I was such a good, loyal person, right, so he knew he could use me, like, 
he's he's a user too. Like he used me as his like swamp donkey. If he ever messed up, I said, oh, you can just play me. I don't care. So like you know, it was it was my fault. I'm not gonna play the victim like he does though. I'm not like crying about it. And I'm cool. I'm just. It's, the it's nice. disappointing that I wasted all my time, energy, and effort on something superficial. You the know what my, you know what my horse cop said? Yeah. Oh, no, the one after that, yeah. Not this one? No, not this one, but the next one. Okay. You know what my horoscope said? What said? Th this week? Last week, I mean? It says, you should stop focusing on a superficial relationship and start focusing on something real. Guess what? what? No. Uh, Victoria admitted she cheated me all the time, and then Mackenzie turned into dickwad. And I'm like, wow. And then we became friends. I'm like... Wow, my horoscope was right for once. Yeah, was sometimes they're like dead on. I was focusing like, into, and guess what uh, Virgo said? They said like stop pursuing something that's never gonna happen. That was Mackenzie's. I was like, but I didn't tell him that though. But it said stop pursuing. Um, his horoscope said you should cherish your, uh, cherish memories with loved ones instead of pursuing something that's never gonna happen. And I was like, wow, that's exactly what Mackenzie's going through right now. But if I tell him this, he's going to be like, fuck you, Sammy, you don't know me all of a sudden, and you're not there for me, and you're a bitch, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever, honey. So, um, yeah. Thanks for coming up, Oh, thanks for having me. I was like, so cool. I was like, bam. 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 Thanks for not being superficial. <laughs> I will never be superficial with you. I oh, know. If you have any more time, like this week, just like. Oh, I will. So, we will see each other again. Oh, I know. I'll see you sure. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Like tomorrow. Woo woo. <laughs>
guess I'm laughing. Oh, man. And I got to meet his girlfriend, too, Alicia. She's so pretty. They're going to make a beautiful baby mom. Hmm. Doesn't be a real cute baby? Mmm. I did have supper.
Yep.